ladies and gentlemen. Let me show you the trick. How to avoid buying legendary crests if you don't want to. What you do is you just play a different game. I really. That's pretty much it. There's no real trick to it. You just don't play Diablo Immortal anymore, you know? I'm gonna be real with you. I was I was sat before this stream started and I was thinking I, 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 I like the gameplay. I do. I know. I'm not gonna play it. I would I would not recommend anyone download it. I just I can't really back Blizzard up since well let's let's be honest, it's it's been a while, hasn't it? You know, someone says to me, Oh, so you can't recommend Blizzard games. I'm like, <laughs> that ship sailed a couple of months ago. All that's happening now is you're just looking at the ship in the distance and seeing it get blown up by other ships. And you're thinking, no, no, I can't. Not really. But I won't lie, I did want to play Diablo again. The style of the game. And of course, we've got Path of Exile. You should check out Windcraft, the Minecraft MMO. I will do. I will add your recommendation to the list of recommendations for that game. It's about 300 people long so far. People really want me to play Windcraft. Oh, I'm going to pronounce it Winecraft, just to produce, just to annoy people. Right, here we go. Path of Exile. What is this? Uh, allow me to explain what this is. Basically, this is free Diablo. Uh, apparently slightly better than Diablo. I'm going to play a witch, because ultimately the witch moves up to Necromancer, and there's no class in any MMO better than a Necromancer ever, is there? How are you guys doing today? We've got a couple of new people chatting. Uh, that video, by the way, uh, the immoral design of Diablo Immortal... That went viral, if you will. I got number 41 on trending, you know? <laughs> See? Ask me anything, guys. 41 on trending. Ask me anything. Oh, suffering from success. Uh, suffering... Let's... Come on, I'm, I'm waiting. Does she weigh more than a duck? I mean, if she does, then she's made of wood. And therefore, a witch. <laughs> right? Okay, everyone shut up. Let's play Path of Exile. A wand. Great, that's some uh, that's some stuff. A dude. It's voiced. It's voiced pretty well. Okay, quite like this. This is good. I like this a lot. I downloaded Diablo Mortal because of all the players and tried it. Was disappointed. Asked some friends. Uh, and now you're playing Watch Out. You know what? I'll tell you this. Diablo Immortal is the greatest thing to happen to other games. Uh, that dude's pretty... Oh, no, nope, zombie time. Zomb... Wait, no. Social. Do I attack? Click to attack. Can you move with WASD? You cannot move with WASD. That is a social thing. You need to move around with clicking. Press I... To... Okay, cool. Let's click to move around. I to view the inventory. Uh, skill gems grant power when they're socketed in your weapons. Alright, cool. Uh, the skills now on your skill bar can be used with right click. Press I to close the inventory. Alright, cool. So we move around with left click. Attack with left click. Right click does a, a little fireball thingy. And a fireball uses mana and mana recharges over time. Beautiful. Sounds good. No sound, kind streamer. Don't you tell me there's no sound. I can see the little bars on the bottom, you little trickster. You can bind move to a key if you want to. Uh, I'm guessing move is like arrows. Is arrows around? Do, can we bind move to keys? Is that a thing we can do? Input. Input method mouse and keyboard. That's fine. Let's see if move... Can we do WASD? It might not have like a WASD movement thingy. I mean, I have got a... I've got a controller plugged in right now because I was playing some other stuff later. Uh, auto input movement detection and blah, 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 blah. There's probably a way to do it. You cannot. You can bind... Oh, bind move to a screen tap. Right. It's basically just left click to move around. WASD does nothing. Cool. You can bind move to here to any key. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Uh, you can left click on the hotbar at the bottom. Oh, that thing down there. Or that thing. Or this thing. Small life flask. Okay, so one, two, life. Five is bound to mana. Uh, right click. Left click is default attack. I'm guessing that's middle mouse button. Right click is fireball. We'll figure it out as we go. We'll figure it out as we go. So holding left shift stops you from moving. Oh, beautiful. Holding left shift makes you stand still. And then you can just throw attacks out based on what you've got on the keys. That is lovely. Thank you very much. Sound is too low. 
I mean, in the game it might be. The game sound is not meant to be high, because the game has nothing important to add. I have important things to add. Don't worry, I'll provide as much entertainment as I can. Oh, oh, okay, so I can... Iron hat? <gasps> We've already got it auto-equipped. Can you... Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. That's lovely. That is terrific. Our good old iron hat. We've pretty much hit peak, uh, hit peak armor now. We need nothing else. Make the sound effects for us. All right, can do. Don't tempt me. Fireball. Zap. 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 You told me. You you told me to do it. First class entertainment. But look. If you've got two monitors, let's be real, this is on your second. I know where it belongs. Your primary monitor, you're watching Netflix, you're playing your own MMORPG, you're doing a bit of grinding on Path of Exile yourself, you're lamenting over Diablo Immortal being terrible. I know where I sit in the hierarchy. Alright, don't voice the enemies. Done. Professionally trained actor right now. Is this ASMR? Is this is this shit zombie ASMR? That's what this is. All right, you're on my main headphones. That's too good for me. Put me on one headphone, just one. That's all I deserve. Uh, is there a way you can highlight everything around you? Okay, tab is map. That does nothing. Control is control Q W E. Okay, so you got Q W E R T. All right, so you got QWERTY down there going on, but then you got control Q W E R T. And then you've got... The I'm starting to get this. I'm getting the hang of this. I've played a video game before. A video graphic game. I'm understanding what's going on. There's a conflict of names on everything. Uh, small tip, press Alt. Okay, so Alt is stuff on the floor. Alright, once something's dropped, I'll press Alt and we'll see how it looks. I love that their arm blows off. That was awesome. That zombie's arm just blew off. That's, that's more satisfying than it should be, to be fair. Hold Alt. I'm holding alt. There's nothing on the floor. All right, right now I've just picked up everything. Oh, there we go. Small life flask. So you hold alt and you get to see everything on the floor. Gotcha. All right, cool. You have taken a damage. Press 1 to use a life flask. Oh, and it... Oh, so it doesn't actually drink the entire life flask. It just drinks what's in... I mean, I'm sitting... But the life flask is there. It doesn't actually drink the whole flask. It just drinks as much from the flask as you need. Right, okay, consume 7 of 21 charges on use, currently has 14 charges. Alright, cool, so you can use it three times. That's nice. Okay, so it's three uses per flask, it's not just one use and then done. Okay, cool. And then you pick up flasks and it refills it, does it? Or it just puts it there? Currently has zero charge. Do you refill the flasks? Okay, the charges refill as you kill. Oh, that's brilliant, I love that. Do you know what, that's great design, because that encourages combat. What you want to do is you want to design your game to encourage the behavior that you want the player to do. So if you want the player to be fighting a lot, you want to reward them with, you know, giving them potions back when they fight. Arcane Surge support. Each supported spell will track how much mana you spend on it, granting a buff. I'm guessing I get that. And then I put it somewhere. Grants Arcane uh, Gain Arcane Surge support after spending a total of 50 mana on upfront costs. 10% uh, more spell damage. Okay, do I put that in there? And many support gems change the spells they're supporting. Right, so that spell gem is now supporting Fireball. So once I have spent more than 15 mana on Fireball, it does 10% more damage or something. Okay, so it basically makes Fireball gooder. -er. Cool. Okay, so we've got like Materia going on. And then the surge support happens when I've spent mana on that. Okay, I'm getting it. I'm getting it here. This is good. It increases the cost of Fireball and makes it better in exchange. Oh, does it increase the cost? Okay. Upfront cost and effect. Gain Arcane Surge. Arcane Surge grants 10% more spell damage. 30% increased mana regeneration. Lasts 4 seconds. Supported skill deals. 10% more damage. Okay, cool, got it. So it just pretty much, it's supporting it. It's a support material kind of thing going on. Cooler fireballs, yes. Cooler fireballs, slightly. At the top, there's cost and reservation. 
Let me have a look. You have to bear with me on this one while I learn it. Right, cost and I see 130%. Right, so it basically makes that cost slightly more. Gotcha. But it does more with it. I'm look anything I get now. I know that I'm going to replace in a couple of hours' time, maybe even a couple of minutes' time. I know this obviously isn't the end game yet, but I want to try and learn as I go along. What does it say on the mug? It's my Baldur's Gate mug. It says a snare has been set, which if any of you have played Baldur's Gate 2, is said a lot. On screen chat's a bit too big for this game. You know what? You're right. You guys don't deserve that much space. That's all you get. That's what you get right now. On screen chat has been changed. Perfect. That's all you get. Perfection. If you want to watch this video back, you've got to watch it in the highest resolution possible and zoom in to try and see yourself. Oh, hello. Okay. We've got a bit of an enemy going on, have we? we run away from this dude. Come on, witch. Yeah. Running away. Hillock. Yeah, okay. Take me on, mate. Oh, oh, now you've got all your health back, have you? Is that because I ran too far away? If I run too far away, do the enemies respawn? Or is it just like a, a kind of range? I've got to stay within. I'm guessing it's that big red wall just there. Alright. Yes, son, sit down, you. Oh, I love this. The fact that when you hold alt, you can click on the names of things instead of the actual item item itself. So, plate vest, a vest made of plates, some wands that have got different... Uh... Oh, they've got different abilities to hold different coloured gems. So that one holds red, green and blue, and that one's red and blue. I like it. So you've got to find stuff, but I can't wear that. Oh, use a scroll of wisdom to identify. Do I have to... to sc I don't think I have... Oh, scroll of wisdom? Identify as an item. Do I right-click and click on that? Or... Alright, cool. Hail plate vest of the cloud. Maximum life, lightning resistance increased. Nice. We've got it going on. The damage of that wand is 5 to 9. 7% critical. That's 5 to 9, 7%. 1.4, 1 1.4. Same, just more slots for more gems. But I've got two blue gems at the minute. Does it matter which colour you put a gem in? You can dual wield. No. Oh, it's beautiful. Spell damage changes. Right, so if we were to take that fireball and instead put it into... How do you click on the, the gem, not anything else? Oh, right-click. Okay, cool. Can we can we put the fireball into there? Oh, you've got to put it in the same colour. So blue gems have got to go into blue slots, that kind of stuff. Colours have to match. You'll come across that kind of stuff. Ah, but it's also not connected. You can see that on this one... These slots are connected, which means the arcane support affects that, but it doesn't. It won't affect it over here. Oh, sit. are you proud of me? I, if you're watching this, I hope you're sitting there going, he's beginning to believe. He's learning it. I like, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Someone in chat's just like, no. <laughs> I love it. Everyone's else like, you're doing great, Josh. You're doing really good. One person in chat are like, no. I expected much more from you. I feel physical pain watching you do this. Open the passive skill screen. Spend your passive skill point. You gain a skill point. Press P or click on this one. Oh, this is the moment everyone stops playing, isn't it? Yeah, this is the moment when you all look and go, you know what? I'm good. I don't fancy learning this. This is, this is like, and I've, I've explained this to you before, this is the quit moment. I get that Path of Exile is incredibly complicated, and I've got nothing against complicated games. What I've got a problem with is the presentation of complexity. If I am teaching someone a really complex thing, I don't hand them the most complex book or text or give them the most complex lesson to start off with. I start them off with something basic, and then more and more and more, and you add on and you add on and you add on. This is the skill tree in Path of Exile. This is ridiculous. This is too much to give a new player immediately. You know what would be good? Just like, just this bit. Just give them this bit. And once they've got this bit, 
have a little button that says, you know, zoom out. Just present them with this to start off with. So here we go. We've got to intelligence, strength, and dexterity. We can increase spell damage and mana, or we can increase energy shield and mana. Energy shield sounds like the kind of plan if you're going to get hit a lot. And getting hit a lot is how you die. So I'm going to go with spell damage and mana, because that means you don't die. All right? Get it? Follow a guide. Don't do it without it. Okay? No. I'm going to build my own. I'm in charge of my own destiny. All right? Yeah, the best crap, the best defense is making sure everything is dead before it has had a chance to hit you. That's what they said. The best defense is offense, and the best offense is offense, and the best build is the most offensive build. What is the job of a tank? All right, to not die. That doesn't actually lead to victory. Consider this. When right, I'm going to drop some tactical knowledge bombs on you right now. I used to play Magic the Gathering, and new Magic the Gathering players have this focus on not dying. They have this, you know, gain life is good. They have this play defensively, build up your, you know, kind of defensive defenders and buffs and whatnot. No, stop. All you're doing if you play like that is delaying your defeat. All right? You're not winning, you're just delaying defeat. If I build up shields and defences, that doesn't actually lead to victory, that just delays defeat. So I'm only going to choose things that lead to victory for me. Damage, good. If enemy kill me, my damage, not good enough. Make gooder. Make gooder damage. That is my... Okay, apply points. That's my focus. Make gooder damage. Enter town for your reward. How do we... How do we, do we there we go. Gotcha. Big damage is win. Make damage more gooder. Let's uh, pop inside this. Lion's Eye Watch. Ooh. Talk to Tarkley for your reward. Uh, Tarkley. What's over here? Uh, Letters of Exile. I... Great. You know what? I'm not in the mood for journaling right now, so I'm not going to be pasting letters anywhere. We pop in here. Oh, it's a waypoint. Do we unlock those? And then you teleport around the world. Okay, cool. I'm getting it. I'm learning. I love how gritty the game is. This game is so gritty, it's basically Batman. That's how gritty it is. This game is sand. All right. Nessa, Bestel, Tark. Come over here, Tark, you old. I thought I was moving by clicking on the map. Am I? Can you move by map clicking? No, map clicking attempts to move through the map to the land that's behind. I see what's going on here. Can you move the camera or is the camera fixed? I'm guessing the camera is fixed. Someone's going to have to answer that in chat. The camera is fixed. Okay, cool. Thank you. you learn to fight like that? Diablo. Fixed field, just zoom. Should help you kill a few more of those undead rude, rude word. Don't you be saying rude words on Twitch. You're going to get me fucking banned. Okay, right, let's carry on playing. Reward. Uh, freezing pulse, ice, rolling magma. That sounds pretty good. Lightning tendrils. Ooh. Raise zombie. Okay, that's winning so far. Blight and kinetic. Why would you not? Raise a zombie minion from a corpse, which will follow you and attack enemies in an attack uh, and an area of effect slam. Uh, Josh, we can't read the chat on stream. Can you read it for us, please? And thank you. You know what? I will consider doing this. Do you mean the chat as in the chat that's in the game? So let's just go with raise zombie. I'm going to have that. Don't do it. You can toggle item nameplates. Yes, global chat adventures. Do you mean, like, literal chat that's on the screen here, which I'm definitely not reading? Or chat as in things like... Look, you can read things people say to me. It's too small. Oh, you mean this chat? The, the global chat of, like, Twitch? Ch it's too small. The global... The Twitch chat that you're typing right now, the overlay that I've got right... Hang on, let me fix that for you. Okay, cool. Right, what are we doing next? Let's talk to... Much better. Perfect. Hi, Mum. There we go. 
For those of you who are new to the stream, I feel that I need to be clear with you about what you need to expect from this stream. Yeah. When I'm working, let me explain. When I'm working, I am making YouTube videos. I am playing YouTube games, I am editing, I am writing, I am uploading. When I am dedicating two to three hours of my time to just completely taking the piss, that's when I'm Twitch streaming. That's how it goes. People look at me and go, oh Josh, you must Twitch stream really hard. No, not really. Just, Sab, thanks for all the gifted subs. That's remarkably kind of you. I'm glad that you enjoy me taking the piss for so long. You like the bunting? We can get the bunting back. I've still got the bunting here. See? I made that to celebrate the Queen's birthday. No, that's a lie. The Queen's Jubilee. See? The Queen's been ruling England for a thousand years. That was the bunting that I made. Okay, what are we doing now? I'm guessing we just talk to people. And we're like, hey. hey do we have a quest list? L. J. J is a journal. Menu. That's good. Inventory, cosmetics, passive... Uh, I'm just I'm gonna go and kill some things. Walk th Let's accept these quests from Bestel. What's going on? Now that's what you call quality content. Someone said they couldn't see the chat on screen, so I thought I'd make it a bit bigger. Okay, please remove the big chat. Remove the big chat. Okay then. You know what? I'm gonna put chat right in the middle. There we go. You guys can deal with that now. Uh, I didn't even read what that quest was. Like, what was that quest? Um, where is there a quest list? Inventory, character, cosmetics, world screen, overlay map options. It's not important. Nessa, I see what you did. Thanks. Oh, missions on the right hand side. Okay, cool. So you got little missions here. Mercy mission. Ah, brilliant. It shows you on the map and stuff. Gotcha. If you zoom in on this, you are big dum dum. I'm not going to zoom in then. See? I'm not big dum dum. Just proved how smart I am. Josh, your face is too small. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to bait me into making my face bigger. Okay? But you are just an amateur beta. I'm the master. Stop it. It's a family friendly game. We're playing Path of Exile. Grow up. All right, what are we doing? Immersive mission. People are like, he knows what he's doing. Of course I know what I'm doing. This isn't amateur hour. I know exactly what I'm providing for you. Uh, Nessa needs medicine chest to heal the wounded in town. See if you can find one. Lines I watch. Town. Mercy mission. Enemy at the gate there. Okay, I see. Cool. So we need to find uh, a medicine thingy, my bobby. Let's just, let's go this way. Let's go to the, entering the coast. Let's go and see what happens. Ah, yes. I was going to say master, and then it was about, you know... It was very clever. What I was doing was remarkably smart. Mercy, but travel to Lion's Eye Watch. Oh, so we have to be in Lion's Eye Watch, and then it's around here somewhere. Oh, oh. Is this it? Maybe. I'm looking at the stash. Bestial, the coast. Bestial? Do you want stuff? Find the medicine chest, travel to the... Okay, Mercy Mission. Travel to the Tidal Islands, find the medicine chest. So, as you accept quests, and I'm guessing then the little red marker is where to go for quests. I'm learning. I am learning. Travel to the Tidal Island. That's M opens the shop, it seems. Why does M open the shop? Surely M overlay map is tab. Where's the big map? World map. World screen is you. Okay, and then... Oh, you've got to go down that way, I see. Why on earth does M open the shop? What is up with that game? M for shop. Oh, yeah, obviously M for buying things. M for might spend some mo money. That's what it is. It's M for money. M shop. Give dev M for give devs money. That's exactly what it means. That's literally exactly what it should be. Okay, so I have not put the little zombie gem into anything. That was entirely my fault. Uh, so I should... I don't know how strong I am or I'm not. So I feel I should probably zombie gem up. 
All right, zombie, you are going into you. And that is now on the middle click. Boom, son! How many zombies can you have? Three. Three. So when I bring another one up... Yeah, okay, cool, you can have three minions. I love minions in games, by the way. It's my thing. So if there's a thing where I... Can you hurt your own minions? No! This is beautiful! And then once they're dead, you just get three more. This is fantastic. You can level up the gem over time. Why is chat so small? You want chat bigger, do you? Do you, do you really want chat bigger? Maybe the real minions were the friends we made along the way. Who knows? It's just... Uh, I'm guessing my basic attack doesn't take any mana. Yeah, that's just uh, no mana. That is seven mana. That's ten mana right there. No, chat is perfect. Big please, make it opaque as well. I'll make the... You guys distracted me, and now I'm dead. That's your fault. I'm resurrecting town. Thanks. This is why I don't play games that I like while I'm... Click this button to level up your skill gem. Right, raise zombie, fireball. Let's level you up. Oh, so your gems get better as you get better. That's pretty cool. I like that. You opens the map. I'm guessing the question mark... Right, the question mark is where you go to get to the thing. Gotcha. Is there a mini-map? Mini-map was tab. I am learning things. Necromancer is hella fun in PoE. Can you move your camera a little bit toward the middle? I don't see the HP pool. Sure. Alright, let's play... Oh, there! Oh, my zombies come back with me, do they? That's fantastic. That is... I like that. Your zombies come back with you. But how does one reach... Don't complain. Don't complain. In the chat right now, they're like, he's not taking this very seriously. No, I'm not. You can't make me. Uh, you can try, but I won't. There's there's other twi there's better Twitch streams out there. There's other better, more talented streamers out there. They're out there right now. Calm's canoe struck this sand with the force of destiny. At his back, the greatest war host in Karui history tamed the wild sea. Their canoes coupling with the land one by one. Coupling with the land? My, that, this is a child-friendly stream. I don't want to read about that. Terrible. Oh, God. Sorry, everyone. Didn't expect. I like Every now and again, I'm just going to create a new zombie. And that means another zombie's going to die. Get up, you. Uh, why is the bunting still up? The platy jubes is over. You, you're right. You, you're right. I don't want to admit it, but you are right. There we go. The bunting's gone. No more platy jubes for any of us. Josh, can you eat chat? If I do this, it looks like chat's coming out of my own mouth. Look at that, see? Just sit here like this. Just leaving chat. It doesn't, though, because it's going up into my mouth. Hang on, we can change this. Wait. Okay, just let me... I think we flip it that way. N no. No, that was... I had two choices, flipping horizontal or vertical, and I chose the wrong one. You know, I, I chose the wrong flip, but I've committed to it now. So let me just transform and flip vertical. That's, there we go. Lovely. Now it's like chat's coming out of my face. Oh, you, you're all drawing penises in the chat, because then it, I see what you've done. All right. It's a remarkably clever thing. I see what you've... I bet all of you were really smart in school when you did that as well. You used to draw it on, like, your notebooks and everything. Or you would text people, 8 equals 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 D. And you'd be like, ha ha, it's a phallus. That's what you'd be like. Oh, the laughs we had. And then, you know what? You know what I think of genuinely, like, world peace? I I've got an idea. Now, I'm not a, I'm going to put the chat back the way it was, but it's, it's not going to be massive, so just, just deal with the fact that it's there. It's, that, that's good. I've got an idea to, to create world peace. Now, I'm not, I know you're going to find this difficult to believe, but I'm not in, like, NATO or any of these big organisations. But here's the idea. Walk up. I mean, they gave Emma Watson, like, a, a platform to spread world peace, didn't they? And I think I deserve my, my shot. Because what I would do is this. I would have a whiteboard. 
and I'd be at like the UN or the summit or where there's lots of important people. And I would walk up to the whiteboard and I would draw the S. You all know the S. That we all drew. The S. Some people call it the 8. The skater S. We all drew the cool S. It doesn't matter who you are, where you grew up, what your life was like, what it is like, what it's going to be like. We drew the cool S. I'll find a picture. Hang on. Wait, let me... I'll find a picture of the cool S in a second. And you guys will know exactly... I'll do it now. Hang on. I'll, I'll just draw it. Oh, I thought these were my zombies. I was fighting with the enemy. Okay, cool. The, you know the cool S? Everyone drew the cool S. And you, you start by doing the, the down bits. And then you do the bits that, like, go down and connect it together. And then you do the other... Yeah! Everyone knows the, the cool S, the six lines. You draw the six lines. And then you kind of do that connect them up thing. Like that. And then you go down like that. And then you go, hang on, you'll when I when I show it, you'll you'll know. Yeah, it's it's kinda like that. It's not completely like that, but it's kinda like that. We all drew the cool S. Everyone drew that picture. Now I'm not saying it's gonna solve all the world's problems, but I am saying it's a start. It, it's look, I get that the world is a really complicated place, and I get that lots of different opinions and lots of different historical facts go on to make the world as complicated as it is. But the fact that we all drew the same random, you know, little bit of, uh, little bit of doodle in our book when we were a kid. Why are the thing on the right-hand side of the screen... Oh, the chat. I flipped it upside down without meaning to. I can turn it back. Hang on. Uh, let me just flip it horizontal again. That's still not helped. Okay, I flipped it back. It's... The names are on the right side, but it's... You know what? Just deal with it. Just live with it. Okay? This is... I mean, my camera isn't even centred on the bottom. So, I don't know what you all expect of me. I like the fact that I've... You can see how many zo... You killed me again. You killed me... Australian chap. Yeah, if you're from Australia, you can read it. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put my webcam at the bottom. But then what I'm going to do... Just to really irritate a few of you... It's just move it like a few pixels up. Oh, oh no. I had the wrong thing selected. Instead of moving the webcam up, I moved the entire game up. That's even better. Alright. That's even more annoying. Okay, cool. We're sticking with that. Um, travel to the title. I'm dying a lot. Click to level up. Uh, level up the Arcane Surge support gem. Yeah, we've got that. I've got to keep going back. I'm, I'm going to dying a lot. Oh my god, Josh. Love that for you. Move games slightly to the right or the left. I mean, I can do both, but that would just effectively reset it to where it is. That's that's how that would work. I need to go to the, the right. How does one even get to the right over here? Is it, like, all that way? Oh, I see. Okay, so it's all the way and around. There's also books just there. You are evil, evil, I say. There's other Twitch streams. You go and watch them, it's fine. Are the fingerprints still on my computer? Yes, they are. I peeled off the plastic edging on my PC. I stuck my fingers on it, and then I put it back. So the, the glass not only has my fingerprints on it, it has them immortalized on it under plastic protection for all time. That's what it has. Seemed like I would cherish a game that would give me experience for dying. That game's called Dark Souls, and the experience is granted in, in knowledge. Knowledge, as it would say. Knowledge is the most important thing to gain. Apart from Lamborghinis, obviously, as we all know. Can we shoot down there? Yes. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so I just hang back pretty much, let my zombies do the work, resurrect more as and when I need some. Knowledge. When you get big, the PC case will be worth something. I hope so. I mean, I hope it's worth something now, because I bought it for something. Uh, we've got to go this way. Do we need this weathered rock? We don't, do we? We don't need this weathered rock. It's not actually important to the story, to the process, to the place. Oh, you can just hold left click and follow the mouse cursor. That's good. Josh may not be the streamer we want, but he's the streamer we deserve. I am neither the streamer you want nor the streamer you deserve. You deserve much better and you probably want a different game. But we are here 
you've committed, just just deal with it. Here's what I describe my style of streaming as. Have you ever walked downstairs to your living room and the TV has been on and there's been like a film or a TV show on and you sit down and you watch it and you think, this is a little bit crap, but it would be more energy and effort to reach the remote control and change the channel or to walk up to the TV and press some buttons. So you're, you're thinking, it's not what I want, but it's also not entirely bad. That kind of thing. You know, it's not good. It's definitely not good. But it's not bad enough to put any effort into change. You ever done that? That's that's how I would describe this stream. That's my style of working. That's my exact style of streaming. Where it's just entertaining enough that the effort required to change the stream is too much. But it's not entertaining enough that you would actively, you know, search it out or tell people... Okay, hang on, so... Oh, I see. I see why I died. It's because I took way too much damage. Yeah, sit down, you stupid. You, you big stupid face. Gonna pick all that up. My inventory is very small. Rawhide boots. Are they evasion rating 15, evasion rating 13? Is there a way to see... Yes, hold alt, you see comparisons. So they have 13 to 18, 15, 13 to 18. That energy shield 16, 17 intelligence. Armor is better. I see. Okay. Lightning resistance already on me. Bows are good. Oh, hang on. Let me just pick some zombies back up. I'm trying to learn everything. There's no green arrows. What do I do? You know, with no green arrows, what the, what the hell? You hold Alt, and it shows you all the stuff. Alright, no no windows. I don't want to switch my language. Apparently Alt-Shift does something. Driftwood 1, so I can see what I've got equipped on the left. 5 to 9. Basically, nothing matters yet, does it? And I say that in, like, the game. Not in, like, real life in general. You know, we're not being nihilist here. Nothing matters in the game. I'm very low level. I'm going to improve and change. It's probably not worth getting a, attached to any equipment as of yet, is it? You know? Have you tried throwing 2195 at it? I, I could do, but then I'd, I wouldn't be sure which version of the legendary crest I would actually have. I wouldn't know, would I? What have you guys been up to today anyway? What's everyone doing? I'll tell you what I've been doing. I've been playing some old PS2 games in order to work on the next Was It Good the next Was It Good is going to be an old PlayStation 2 first-person shooter based in the Warhammer 40k universe called Fire Warrior. And sometimes people look at me and go, Oh, your job must be so much fun. You get to play video games all day. I'm like, yeah, sometimes it is. Sometimes you have to play Fire Warrior all day. That's not fun. That's not a good day. I mean, don't get me wrong. A bad day playing video games is still better than, like, a good day in a warehouse because I've worked in a warehouse and it sucks. But, oh, don't say it's quiet, because I've been hearing the NPCs say that all frickin' day. It's quiet. That All they're saying is, nothing detected. They just keep saying that. They've got like three lines, I swear to God. It's uh, it's really bad. Yeah. Fire Warrior, the, the LAS gun always had plenty of ammo. You know what I find irritating about Fire Warrior? The Imperial LAS gun is better than the Tau Pulse Rifle. Like... Since when were the Imperial Guard better fitted than the Tau? Also, and I'm going to go on a little bit of a rant now, because I'm a big... Uh, oh, I can't carry any more stuff. I like it. I'm a big Warhammer 40k fan. One Fire Warrior takes down half the Imperial Guard, several squads of Space Marines, a Valkyrie by himself, a Dreadnought, and then a freaking Greater Demon of Zeech. Like, one Fire Warrior. That's what... No. That's wrong. That's silly. Make a portal before you die again. How does one portal? What is this? One passive skill point available. 12% uh, damage increased. Intelligence. Uh, obviously, 12% increased spell damage. Why would you not go for increased spell damage? Uh, how does one portal? Use a portal scroll. I don't have a portal scroll. I've got scroll of wisdom. I don't have a portal scroll. Orb of Transmutation upgrades a normal item to a magic item. <gasps> okay, so... Could I, like, upgrade... 
what is normal that could be magic? Magic? What could I do? I don't know if I need any magic items yet. There is a slight line where there is no green screen to your right. Let me fix that for you. Let me fix that right now. Okay. Hang on. I'm just changing the, uh, the crop of the right-hand side of my green screen specifically. Just let me... Yep, there we go. We can extend it out a little bit. Actually, we're good. We've got quite a lot of room to play with. Um, uh, I'm clicking on the extending... There we go. Okay, cool. Now everything is green screened correctly. It does make me laugh when people who don't... Why am I carrying this jerkin around? Why? I don't need this. Or that can go there. That... Oh, God. Now I've got to work out where things can go. Oh, goodness me. Okay, you take up how many slots? Three? Look, we have enough slots to do this. We just need to work out how... Let's put you on the floor. Then let's put you... It's Tetris all over again. Fan-bloody-tastic. You go there. You can go there. Th nothing else. Can you, you can't twist things sideways, can you? I probably don't need a stone axe. I don't have any portals. You really want a loot filter. I'll get a loot filter and set, throw it all away. There's a weird person in the bottom left. Can you do anything about that? Oh, that's... um. That's just the overlay in the game. That's just the UI. I probably can do. When you say the weird person in the bottom left, do you mean like the this thing just here? I'm pretty sure that's just like the the iconography of the of the UI itself. But you know what? I can help you actually. I can. There you go. Replaced it with a union flag. Don't say I never do anything for you. Right. Find the medicine chest. We're meant to be playing seriously, so please stop being silly and distracting me while I'm trying to to play properly. Let's level you up. You know what? I'm going to stop even trying to min-max, because if I try that in this game, I'm going to go insane. This is a game where if you even attempt to hit the, the optimum of anything, you're just going to drive yourself mad. I know that. Never min-max, just max. Yeah, I'm not going to min-max, I'm going to max-max. All right, Every stat's going to be the highest it can possibly be. Every single one. All numbers higher. Number high equals good. That's how we work. All right, leveled up again. See? Just throw in a load of fireballs, raise a load of zombies. Don't even need to do my own stuff. It's a chill game. Max-max is OP. Uh, when every stat infinity, how can lose? Exactly! If numbers high, win. See, I'm pretty good at games. I know this. <laughs> you had to go min min. Just so, smallest numbers win with the smallest numbers possible. Oh, can we all take a second and appreciate the fact that Miracle of Sound put out a new song and it's about Elden Ring and it's an absolute banger. And Varty Vidya is in it as well. Gnarled Branch, unidentified. I'm gonna drop this stupid stone axe. I don't need you. Let's pick you up, Mr. Gnarled Branch. Let's uh, just identify you with a scroll of wisdom. Krakenbane. It's a staff. And okay, that's a one physical, five to nine. If I equip, is that good? High IV equals good. Okay. Staff, physical damage. What's the IV? What am I looking for? No, actually really good. Guessing it would go there, and then I would have to unequip both of these. Can I use it? Do I, am I, do I have to unequip these things first? Like, I'd have to do that, and then that, and then that. Like, is it is it better? I see. Can you make a vocal cover? Yes, I will. Is this Diablo? This is infantry. It's two-handed. Take out your gems. Oh, yes, yeah, so it's got green and blue. So I can go with... Oh, I need that, don't I? The raised zombie in blue. But then I've got no fireball, and... Oh, my, it's... I see what you mean. It's just... God, now I can't fireball. I've got a little tin hat on. I've got my stick. And I've got my zombies. But I've lost my ability to fireball. But my zombie is still in the middle. How about the other armors? Oh, maybe... No. 
because the fireball is blue. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on a tick. Just look at what we could do. We could put the fireball there, which is blue. Then we could, I mean, the arcane surge. It's not linked to anything. It's fine. We're going to, I'm going to put it there just, I know it doesn't do anything, but it's there now. And now we've got fireball there. We've got raised zombie. This is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. They don't connect. It doesn't matter. It's not about them connecting. It's about them being there. It's about the belief that they could connect. Am I a gamer? Yeah, I've played games. Oh, okay, so the staff just straight up smacks things. All right, so I'm just going to witch you in the face. That's what I'm going to do. All right, so my new, my new witch skill is I'm just going to use this stick to get some serious witching going on. So right, I can just keep drinking potions and winning. It's fine. And then I can just keep raising zombies. This is good. Maybe every now and again I'll fireball someone. But this is mostly going to be me raising zombies and fireballing. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. This is fine. Look at me winning. Oh, medicine chest and a portal scroll. Oh, I've got some shabby jerkins. Shabby jerkins sounds like the kind of thing that you should be able to buy from a kebab van at like three in the morning. You know, you're a little bit pissed. You just walk up to someone, you're like, yeah, I'll have uh, a can of Coke and a shabby jerkin, please. That'd be great. The best spell is stick. You should try the skill gem, summon raging spirits when you get it. I will do. I was hoping he would die to hail Drake. Pocky, don't make me ban you. Sounds like a band name. It is. It's a band name and a type of food. Right, take the medicine. What? You need to actually physically put the medicine chest in your inventory? What is this madness? This is insane. No one should have to deal with this much inventory management. My god. Okay, cool. Portal scrolls can be used to return to town quickly. Right click to use it. Oh, right, sweet. Do you need to buy portal scrolls? Or can you just get them? You know, why am I being a pack rat? I'm just picking everything up, man. I want to carry stuff, you know? I'm picking it all up. That's what I want. My right, Nessa. I got you your uh, your thing. Flasks help page unlocked. Fantastic. Select a reward. Medium life flask. Oh, you get better life flasks and you refill them and stuff. They drop plenty. Sweet. Oh, that's very, very... Oh, okay. <laughs> Eight. Don't tell me you can just buy them. I mean, I'm sure you probably can. You'll lose a shitload the more you advance. There's a bloke on the bottom left of the screen for some reason. No, there isn't. It's, uh, look, it's uh, a um, flag. I can move it out of the way. Or I can put it back. I can wear it like a, like a necklace. This is my bunting that I made for the Queen's Jubilee. Maybe I could wear it as a lovely, lovely bit of jewellery. See? And anyone that logs in right now will just think that I'm wearing a very elegant necktie. What is that? That is my loyalty to the platy jubes. That's what that was. All right, so medium life flask, medium mana flask, quick silver. Okay. 40% increased movement speed. Oh, what do we do? Do we do movement speed? Do we do life? Do we do mana? I mean, I don't want to be doing life because you're only drinking life potions if you're dying, and I should never be dying. Mana's probably going to be a good one. Let's go with increased mana. Uh, select one reward. Elemental proliferation support supports any skill that hits enemies spell cascade all right infused channeling supports any channeling spell what is the the zombie spell what is that one so it's a, it's a minion spell do any of these do minion spells oh hang on summon phantasm Support skills that can hit enemies or create minions. While those skills kill enemies or hit rare things, have a chance to summon a phantasm. Very nice. Right, we're going with you. But it needs to be connected. Ah, oh, Which means I can't use the stick because I need to find a blue that's connected to a blue. And the only blue connected to a blue is in the wand. And oh, it's, it's just a lot of fun. Faff, isn't it? My goodness. Okay, so we go with support minion in there. Then we go with raise zombie just there. That potentially gets me a phantasm. Oh, my goodness. 
Oh, League starts be like this. You're late for the stream. Could you start over with a new character? Don't, don't tempt me. Click the I slash I I. Ah, <gasps> you can swap between weapon sets, which means I can use the second weapon set as a way to store things that I don't need. Ah, <gasps> I can't use that on there. Is that two-handed? Can you not use one physical and one? Can I just stick you there? There we go, I've got the stick. It's fine. Does Phantasm link with zombie? I mean, it should do. Look. Okay, support minion. 50% chance to summon a Phantasm when supported skills or non-Phantom minions from supported skills deal a killing blow. And that one just there. Raise a zombie which attacks from a corpse. Maybe it does. You can do ones with shields and more ones. All right, cool. We're going to go with this then. Uh, where do I put the medium mana flask? I'm guessing just over there. And then this. Do I even need this still? You know what? I'm going to keep it because I might need it. I might be important. It may be necessary. You said no. Okay, you said no, which means I should definitely put it in the stash. Apparently I've played this game before many years ago and I still have a lot of random stuff in here. Fragment, Wisdom, Orb, Shard, Scrap, Whetstone. I'm guessing all of that is useless. Apart from maybe the Scroll of Wisdom. Your chat on the stream is flipped. Oh, it is. Hang on, let me sort that out for you. There we go. It's flipped back now. What is this? Uh, Healthy Lapis Amulet of the Cloud. Power Ring. Chain belt. Su superior medium life flask. Apparently I played this years ago. I don't even remember. I genuinely don't remember playing this years ago. But uh, superior medium life flask. It requires level 3. Am I level 3 yet? How do you work out? C? Character? Level 4. Check me out with my brilliance. Stick you just there. Uh, medium life flask. Stick you just there. Oh, I'm great. See, I, I knew I had stuff in my stash. Chain belt. Thank you. And power ring. Yeah. All right, we're basically just blitzing through right now, guys. Min-maxing. I'm going to put these small life flasks over here in case I ever need them. I probably won't need this rusted hatchet, but I'm going to put it there. Along with the, the shabby. I'm going to put this armor... Hang on, I don't need stuff on there anymore, do I? Because that was the fireball and the arcane support. Fireball can go on the other thing. Just there. You, most of this stream is going to be me dealing with stuff in the inventory. Alright? Just, just deal with it. The majority of this stream is going to be inventory management. I'm going to put this simple robe right in the middle to annoy some of you. And how dare you send me a friend request on stream? How act... I mean, I will accept that. How dare you think that's allowed? Of course it is. Anyone can send me a friend request. That's absolutely fine. Uh, what I am going to do is just put a load of stuff in... Alright, you might not like it, but this is how I deal with the bank. Alright, just shut up and deal with it that way. That's what the bank looks like. Uh, you, Bester. I did manage to slay something. What do you want now? I will accept all of these friend requests at the end. I guarantee I will accept them all. It will just take me a while to get... Just let me get to grips with the game first. Josh, your chast is upside down now. My chast? Right, you know what? Fine. If the chat's upside down, let me fix this for you. Let me fix frickin' everything for you, shall I? There. Now everything is the right way up. Turn your monitor upside down and we're good to go. I'm doing my best for you guys. I'm trying, okay? I'm I'm really trying here. Take the waypoint to the coast and enter the mudflats. Uh, let me, I'll, I'll flip this back, don't worry. Na <laughs> first time viewer, nailed it. Like, this is the first thing you said. Uh, let's just flip this vertical again. And then let's put me, transform, flip vertical, stick me just there. We probably don't need the bunting anymore. That's fine. And what I will do... See, all I did was I basically just did this to irritate most of you. We're going to push this to the side so the green screen's a bit nicer. 
So if anyone new comes in, it does look professional. You know, it looks like I know what I'm doing. I like to occasionally... Let's just reset this transformation. Then let's stick this. Let's put this, like, there. I don't imagine anything important happening on the right-hand side of the screen. That's probably fine. Okay, take the waypoint to the coast and enter the mud flaps. The mud flaps? Mud flats. Right. Gotcha. I was thinking, mud flaps, they're on cars, aren't they? Or uh, on kind of trucks to prevent mud jumping up into the wheels. Uh, the coast. Enter. Take the waypoint to the coast. Enter the fetid pool. Uh, so we go to the coast. Can we can we teleport there? Can we can we teleport there? Why? Why will the waypoint not? Allow, do I need to access the the waypoint on the coast first? Is that why I can't teleport to it? You did not activate the waypoint. Got to go get the mud flaps. That's what we need to do. Lol, you didn't find the waypoint. Kiwi, don't lol at me. All right, I'm learning. I'm doing my best. I'm getting better. We're slowly improving together. We're having a good time. You know, this is how progress is made. This is how learning happens. Fail. First attempt in learning. Remember? That's what I as a teacher was taught to say to the children when they fucked up. That's exactly the way I would put it as well. Fail. First attempt in learning. Try to remember to level up your gems. You know what? Just... Are they phantasms? Look at these phantasm boys! Alright, level up these gems. Level that, level that. Does it cost anything to level up the gems? Or is it just like as soon as you do, just, just do it? Just a thing. It just happens. As soon as you do, you get to level up. And it's a thing. Come on, phantasms. Let's... Oh, maybe don't be in the fire. Fire is bad. I nearly died just then, but I didn't because I am brilliant at this game. I've only been playing it for a few minutes, and yet already, I think, I'm probably one of the greatest Path of Exile players. Fuck! That's Resurrect in Town. Shut up. I'm going to cut that from the VOD. It's not going on the clip channel. No one will ever know. And you've got no proof. Hubris, man. Hubris. I flew too close to the power. Too close to the moon. That's the, the Greek story. The Greek story of Hubri. It's a good story, actually. He he flew. He made wings, basically. And he wanted to He wanted to fly, but he flew at night, and the moon was like no. The higher the gems, the more minimum stats they need. No one will ever know, know what exactly. No one will know that it happened. you got no proof. I want the scroll of wisdom. Give it to me. Give me the scroll of wisdom. Get up, zombies. Come and join me. Join me in combat. I think in the future, I'm probably going to be a very good necromancer. Because I'm really good at dying. And that seems to be... Like the main thing that necromancers need to know. You know? Back to Diablo Immortal, I guess. I know. I can't just throw money at this to become more powerful. It's irritating. Oh, man. If only I could buy one of three different crests, two of which are the same. Oh, I know. Press Z. Alright, press Z. What's that meant to do? I pressed it. Nothing's happening. I tried. You'd make a good minion. I have never been so insulted. Never, ever been so insulted in my entire life. Maybe Y? What's it meant to do? Z? Y? Is it like nameplates or something? Y doesn't do it either. Z removes items on the ground, turns off the loot filter. Oh, there we go. Okay, so Z gives you stuff. Impaled corpse. And I just booped it. Just a gentle boopage of the impaled corpse. I need to find the bloody waypoint thing. How can you be good necromancer if you didn't experience the dead? Yeah. You can only be good at something if you experience it first. That's true. So how can I be good at raising a zombie if I haven't experienced being a zombie? 
Can we appreciate the fact that I've got three zombies and three shades already and I'm still dying? Six things are working together to try and help me and I'm still not good at it. That's what it is. Install a loot filter, you noob. N you can't make me. You can't talk to me like that. You're not my real dad. You can't tell me what to do and not to do on Path of Exile. All right? It's called Path of Exile, not Path of Loot Filters. I'm going to install what I want. Josh, may I say, you're looking very handsome. Super Soaker, you may say that. And I will be flattered and I will say thank you. And I will say that I can't see you, but I bet if I could, you'd be really attractive. Because studies have been done. And studies have shown that viewers of this stream objectively better looking than the average population. It's true. 100% true. It's been proven. I proved it. Okay, I'm off then. Yes, I'm... I may have died, but I died while talking about how attractive you all were. And you know what? It's worth it. What is that skill point available? I don't need to hear you talking all the time. Uh, yes, unfortunately that does mean that we need to keep up the l attractive level of this stream. So it's, uh, it's a horrible, horrible thing, but, you know, we need to be... It's very exclusive. It's very exclusive, this stream. If you're not attractive, you're not allowed here. Try it right now. Try typing. If you are attractive, it will let you. If you aren't, your message won't even go through. See? Someone. Ban ugly viewers. I do. I do. Every single ugly human being in the world is banned on this stream. You know how many people are banned? Zero. Because you're all beautiful. You know you are. Everyone ugly is already banned. No one's banned. Right, everyone stop being so wholesome. Look at this. Look at this crucified corpse. We've gone from what a lovely moment to... Oh, his torso fell off. Oh, that's the... That is the... The duality of man. That, that guy was banned. Yeah, this, this, this guy's banned. He slid down. He's definitely banned. Oh. FaceDetector.dll is real. It is real, and it makes sure that only attractive people are allowed to view this stream. So if you're here, you are good looking. Yeah. Right, let's just keep zapping through these guys. I like how the fireball has travel time, so you need to work out where the enemy is going to be before you fire. Travel up the coast to the mud flats. We've got to go up the coast this time. I should probably level up. Uh, I should probably not be leveling up in the middle of battle, but I'm going to do it anyway because I'm a rebel. Right. Let's just grab another zombie for me. Can we all agree Stacy's mum is the hottest? Oh, mate, Stacy's mum has got it going on. That's true. That is very true. You know, Stacy cannot. She just absolutely could not see that she wasn't the girl for me. But uh, I, it might be wrong. Some people have told me. That it is wrong. They have explained it's wrong. But. I am. Fond. Of the mother. Quick Josh. Recommend a game. Good or not. A game good or not. Rollercoaster Tycoon. It's a good game. There you go. Straight away. Uh, straight away. Recommended to you. Did you zoom out the passive tree? I did. And then it scared me. So I zoomed back in. On the passive tree. I'm not uh, I'm not looking at that. That's way too much stuff to look at for one person. Pro tip, put walk on W and use that to walk. I might actually do that because then it will just follow me, won't it? Because walk then is just clicking like this. Is that what you guys do? Somebody actually did once tell me that the world was going to roll me. Now, I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. How many of you carried on the song? In your own head. Right now. Be honest with me. How many of you? How many of you will carry on the song if you just see the word SOME written in capitals? 
If you see the word SOME in all capitals, you straight away add BODY in your own mind. Just straight away. It happens. There are certain words and phrases that have become so synonymous with the songs that they are part of that you, uh, as soon as you hear them, you just immediately, ooh, tidal islands? Enter the fetid pool and kill all the monsters. Oh no, we want to go to the mud flaps. That's what we want to do. We want to enter the flaps over here, grow up. We're playing a family friendly game. So let's just push inside the mud flaps and go to the fetid pool. I'm aware it says flats. Let's see. Oh, that's a lot of enemies. Jesus. Let's just shoot these guys down. Padded vest, battered helm. Battered helm sounds like battered fish, but way worse. Because battered fish, delicious. Yeah. I had a fish and chip supper yesterday. With a chip buddy. It was nice. Let's just keep shooting these guys back. And, oh, I've leveled up. Skill point available. Uh, what do we do? 4% increased, 10% increased spell damage. Why would you ever do anything else? I don't understand why there are other choices on the uh, on the thing at all. Mud flats are unironically the hardest part of leveling. Am I playing PoE for a comparison video? No, playing it for fun. Going to have to ban you from PoE for not spending twenty one ninety five health to not die. No, no, health is pointless. The only point of health that matters is the last one. And I already have more than one health, so I'm pretty much fine with what I've got. You don't need any more than one health. You just need more damage and to not get hit. There we go. No fun allowed. Absolutely. If any of you are in this, uh, in this chat expecting fun right now, please lower your expectations. How many health points do we have in real life? Like, what would do one damage in real life? Like stubbing your toe on the coffee table. Or getting a paper cut. That's like one damage, isn't it? What what would take one damage? You know, one, one health worth of damage to you. That would be it. I never would have expected you to play Path of Exile. Well, that's the great thing about this stream. It's unexpected. You know, I, I keep you guys guessing. Who knows what's going to happen? A few days ago, we played Time Crisis. We've played Roller Coaster Tycoon. We've played a little bit of uh, RuneScape. You know? Chom, why have you written bonking my heath in chat? I'm not against you writing it. I just have questions. The main one being, why have you written that? What does it mean? Because it sounds like the kind of thing that I'm going to use as a phrase in real life and get myself in trouble for. You know, I'm going to be out in town somewhere and people will be like, oh, Josh, what have you been up to? And I'll just say, oh, you know, just bonking my heath. And I'll say it thinking it's something cool that regular people say, and I'll discover that I've actually just really offended someone. Do I believe in alien UFOs? I believe in alien UFOs, but not in regular UFOs. Because UFO just means unidentified flying object. Anything can be a UFO. If you see something in the sky and don't know what it is, that's a UFO. Like, if I, if I just threw something through the air and someone looked at it and didn't know what I'd thrown... UFO, right there. Do I believe in aliens? Ooh, that's a good question. Let's, th let's grab you. Scare mask? What's a scare mask? Evasion rating 14, energy shield. Gives me some energy shields. I'm getting a lot more powerful. Armor 11. Evasion rating? Yeah! Let's do it, man. Let's just dodge out the way of stuff. Who needs armor when you can be a dodgy boy? Do I like MOBAs? Do I believe in magic? I believe in a thing called love. Just listen to the rhythm of my heart. Because there is a chance we could make it now. We might be rocking until the sun goes down. I believe in a thing called love. Ooh. See? You also get singing on this stream. Live singing. Not many streams do that for people. But I'm here for you. Mr. Sanctuary, is very, the first thing he's ever said is stop. <laughs> Just stop. Imagine how annoying you've, you must, you know, 
I must be pretty annoying if the first thing you've ever said in the stream is stop. Like, you want to enjoy the stream, but you just can't. Stop! Right now! Thank you very much. Maybe he needs somebody with the human touch. I've died. I've stopped. There you go. Saying the lyrics is a good way to have music while avoiding a DMCA. Yeah, what I've discovered is I've discovered the best way to completely... Find a use for the strange glyph. Can do. I have discovered... Do you... When you die, do you lose anything? Like, do you lose power or do you lose... Um, experience? Is there a problem with dying or is it just a kind of get up and carry on? Dignity. <laughs> Pride. Later you lose experience. You lose the respect of the chat. I never had that. Well, I mean, I'm not gonna, not gonna care about that, am I? Right. Introduction. Drowned, dead, rose, cannibals, best, strange glyphs, feathered pool, purchase items. Oh, is this? He just explains stuff to me, does he? Travel to the mud flaps, cannibals, bestal. Yeah, I'm not bothered about you. Oh, hang on. What we can do is we can stick some more stuff in the in the stash. Yeah, we can stashy things away. Let's just get you. Oh, Superior Driftwood Club. I don't, 21 increased global physical damage. That sounds pretty good, but I'm not doing physical damage. Spirit Shield, no. Sounds like a coward's weapon. Battered Helm, 17-17, 14-4. Evasion Energy. That is nice. I'm going with that. I'm going to put this over here. I'm going to stick the scroll of wisdom we can keep for a bit. Now, you might be annoyed at how messy this is looking. I just try and forget it. That's what I do to deal with things. It is all voice acted, and it is decent, but I feel that I could improve the voice acting of it. Check the vendors now you're in town. I will check it out in a second. Josh, you ever watched Black Adder? Very important question. Of course. I've got the uh, DVDs on the, on the shelf around me somewhere. Might be downstairs. But yeah found a blackadder. We all like a little bit of blackadder, don't we? Let's go to the coast. Imagine using anything you leave in your stash. Imagine. Not going to. Search the mud flats for the entrance. Search the mud flaps for the entrance. Can do. Ah, let's just... Oh, nothing in this barrel, is there? Anything I touch is already improved. Oh, you absolute babe. Look at you being all nice. If I ever write a book, can you voice it? It very heavily depends on what you write the book about. Because my voice will not suit certain books. I mean, I could probably... I could probably attempt to, you know, work with Fifty Shades of Grey. Like, it's for a steamy romance novel. Done. Immediately done. Romance only. I will be more than happy with that. He is playing the game. I am playing the game. Did someone just say there was a raid? Be nice to the raid. Your stream is being raided by a flock of pigeons. Is it? Well, my goodness, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are raiding for a flock of pigeons, then welcome. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. Here we go. A Twilight stream raid. I've got to scroll down. I've been too busy learning all the bits that's happening. How about voice acting? Would I narrate a Dritz book? Yeah, but I feel bad because I killed Dritz so many times in the Baldur's Gate games. Like I just I was so nasty to Dritz. Why did I pick this short bow up? I'm never gonna use it. Ever. Like, I'm a I'm a mage, I'm a witch, I'm never ever going to fire a bow. But I saw it, I thought, that's blue. Best pick it up. Let's give it a go. Now we've got a bow. You know what I'm gonna do with it? I'm gonna put it in the stash. I'm not even gonna sell it. I'm going to be max level looking back at that bow in many weeks time and I'm going to be thinking oh remember remember when we were at the, the fetid pools picking up the blacksmith's wet stones remember those days good times is this Diablo moral it is this is Diablo moral That's exactly what this is I'm gonna let my oh a corroded tower shield let's just Hang on, smack some of you guys down. I need to stand over here and just start casting in. You have to cast fireballs from a distance. That's what I'm going to do. 
I'm going to just throw in energy. Look at how many phantasms I've got. I'm like a walking phantasm factory. Oh, it's beautiful. If you get a bow, it's the first path to becoming a stealth archer. We're not playing Skyrim. Rawhide gloves. Superior stone axe. Never use it. Am I going to take it up? Yeah, I am. Look at that. Rawhide gloves. 17. Armor. 7. What's better? Evasion or armor? Evasion or armor? What's uh, what's the best? What's the worst? You guys are going to have to armor. Both are fine. Jo Josh playing POE is the crossover I never expected. I mean, it's an MMORPG and I play MMOs. You should have expected this crossover. I mean, what, what is a crossover that you absolutely wouldn't expect? Like, I wouldn't expect a sequel to Requiem for a Dream starring Barney. That's like an unexpected crossover. What's like a genuinely unexpected crossover? Clash. Me playing Clash of Clans. Oh my god. Okay. Do you want to know something? And I'm going to assume that you do. And even if you don't, I'm going to tell it you because I need to fill this stream with entertaining content. I have been contacted since the success of my immoral design of Diablo Immortal video. I've been contacted by people. I know, right? I know. Just... I wasn't happy with it either, but just bear with me. People who worked for companies, news companies, reporting companies, who wanted to talk to me about things. And they were like, hello, Mr. Hayes. I'm like, okay, wow. For what? What is wrong? Just call me Josh. It's fine. Can we talk to you about your video? And I thought, you know the only people that I really want to talk to? You guys. You've been here longer than they have. You've been supporting me more than they have over a longer period of time. Because we all like, play the same games. We all love the same stuff. We're all geeks, aren't we? You get my time. You get my time because you people are cool. They don't get my time because they're lame. They're super lame, that's what they are. Can I finally... Come on, I need to just get some some health back. Get some zombies back. This is a lot of dogs. I really don't know if I have the... Maybe I should just focus on this dude. Come on, let's get some more dogs back up. Yeah, this guy is just... Okay, that's a lot of dogs. Should I just be, like blitzing him down and ignoring all these dogs and ads and whatnot. Yeah, that's um, that, that's a lot of stuff. He's making more dogs. He is making more dogs. I'm not a fan of this. This is, this is tough. But no, seriously, I've got so many emails from people like, hey, can we chat to you? Can we talk to you? I'm a news reporter. Can we do this? No. I, I contacted someone, and I'll tell you why. I contact people, and I send people messages when they do something that I can tell is driven by passion, by love, by care, by by genuine appreciation for the, the subject's matter. Why did I say no, though? I'd be rewarded. Of course I'd be rewarded, but it's not what I make videos for. I make videos so people who love video games get to watch them, enjoy them, and then we can hang out together and chat. I saw on Twitter a girl called Faye, and Faye was doing research into MMORPGs. And she was researching a game called Dreamscapes Dimensions, which is a terrible MMO that I have researched before and I thought was a front for crypto mining. So Faye had actually gone into the uh, all the sent data and all the received data and worked out where all the servers were that were doing all of the stuff. And she had a really long Twitter thread about how much research she'd done. And I thought, that is amazing, putting your money where your mouth is and actually researching stuff. That's way more research than I do. So I contacted Faye and I'm like, hey, I've got a video on Dreamscape's Dimensions. If you ever want to talk about it sometime, or MMOs in general, let's chat because the world does need more MMO content creators. So we had a lovely chat for like an hour or two. We just sat, she asked me some questions, I asked her some questions. Her favourite MMO was Elder Scrolls Online. We talked about that and she was lovely. Because she was someone who was genuinely passionate about the subject matter, who wanted to hopefully make a career in that field. And that is absolutely worth supporting. 
But then I'll get messages from someone with a username like IGN, blah, 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 whatever, some name, some long string of numbers. Hey, can we chat to you? I mean, if you want to send me a business email, uh, yeah, fine. I mean, I'll ignore it, but you can send it me. That's not a problem at all. I want to talk to people who are genuinely geeky and passionate about this kind of shit, not people who just want to go and make a random news story about it and then move on. Uh, what was I doing? Why am I dying? Okay, let's work out why I'm dying. I need to work on some kind of shop. Who sells things in stuff? Notice board. Friends, guild, public parties. Bestel, do you sell stuff? Nope. Ah, you're a shop. Tarklay, purchase items. <sighs> Beautiful. What have you got? Okay. Second page, third page. Ooh, okay, so my Driftwood Wands does 5 to 19 damage. These Wands, do they do more? Branch, 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 rapiers, 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 Wands. Where are the Wands? We got any... Got any Wands over here? Sword, staff, staff, knife. Staff Club Nessa. Okay, cool, thank you. Nessa does the wands. Purchase items. Oh, she does. Lovely. Okay, cool. Honest question in chat. Let me explain. And be honest. Did I fail that necromancer fight because I just suck? Like, is that the reason? Is it like an actual item problem or do I just suck at the game? Was I just bad? That's fine. If I go back to that fight and I suck less, will I beat it? Because he was summoning more dogs than I... <laughs> that hurt. You're really bad. Thank you. I appreciate that. Let's go back and try it again. Because he was summoning more dogs than I could deal with. There was a lot of dogs going on there. Empty my inventory. He looks undergeared for it. I mean, my gear is this. Like, it's not... I don't have a lot of defense or a lot of armor going on. Buy the skill from Nessa. You can do this. Buy the support gems for the fireball. Okay, so we've got phantasm support, raise zombie. None of these are linked. Ah, maybe Nessa has some, like, linked ones. Oh, hang on. 9 to 16. All right, that's more damage than this is doing. This is nice. Default attack, strike your foes with a powerful blow. That's left click. So goat's horn, but look, it's blue and it's all linked. Ooh, okay. Quality plus 19%. Physical damage more requires level 6, 29 intelligence. I'm level 6. How intelligent am I? I'm 32 intelligent. That's what I am. But what's on tab 2? Ooh, some gems. Oh, some gorgeous looking gems. Okay, cool. How much gold do I have? How do you work that out? Uh, oh! Oh! The cost is in Scrolls of Wisdom. I see. No gold, but Scrolls of Wisdom. And Scrolls of Wisdom are also used to identify items. <sighs> Physical damage don't matter, you use fireball. Sweet. You basically trade rocks for items. Sweet. So I can trade... Can I sell? If I go to sell items, place your items here to sell them. Superior stone axe. And she'll give me one scroll fragment. A stack of five becomes a I am learning. Armor seven, armor eleven, evasion. I'm equip that. Can I not equip that? Okay, so iron gauntlet's armor seven. Fish scale gauntlet's armor is better. Let's sell what I don't need, first of all. Whalebone Rapier, probably don't need you. Probably not going to use a short bow. Transmutation Shard. 20 of them becomes a thing of thing. Alright, cool. Apparently it's not safe to talk about this on YouTube. Any thoughts on... Oh, I see. Yeah. That whole situation, the whole hashtag justice for Axeman kind of thing, is extremely risky to chat about. It is. And great deal of respect for Actman. I think he's a phenomenal YouTuber. I've loved his videos for years. 
I would recommend you Google it and have a look into it. The reason that I don't want to consider myself any kind of uh, any position to give advice is one, because I don't completely understand everything that's going on with it. And I want you, I would rather you get that information from him, not from me, because I'm like a third hand source of information at this point. I don't know enough to give you information that is correct. Okay? Please don't sell the bow, you promised. Sorry, Sai. Sorry. Can we buy it back? Scuff the run. If this were a, a speed run, we'd be restarting right now. It's gone. You were supposed to remember the bow. Jesus. Oh. Se second mon This is why I'm second monitor content. This is why I've not been promoted to the uh, the main the main monitor. Shit like this. Oh man. Okay. Critical strike chance seven. Critical strike chance seven. Goat's horn one. That's even bigger. That's even better. So the right fireball is blue. Oh, blue, blue, blue. Linked, linked, linked. Very nice. You cost one. You cost one. Why do you only cost one? Go to roll two. Ah, right, cool. Let's buy a new wand. What's a good wand? Oh, that costs a blacksmith's whetstone. 12% increased spell damage, plus 16% to fire damage over time. Increased fire damage. That's badass. Why are we not going for increased fire damage? That's amazing. Okay. Three is good. Increased spell damage. But I think we should go for increased fire damage over time. Yeah, that's good. We're going with this. Three linked is always the best. It is. Yeah, I, I get that. All right, we'll go for three linked. We'll buy you. And... Oh, you can only buy one of them. Okay, cool. We'll go with the increased fire damage. And now what we'll do is we'll take out the gems from here. And we'll sell the starting ones. Because I really hate that you have to go to two separate screens to sell things. It should just be purchasing and selling together. We'll sell you. We can use you, can't I? Level six, level six. That's fine. Yeah. We'll sell both of you. That's fine. Flat damage is good early. I'm going with fire damage, man. Let's go with Goat's Horn of Ernest. And then, where's my fireball? Fireball! Beautiful. Then we go with Goat's Horn over there. Goat's Horn gets raised zombie. And it gets summoned phantasm. I've got some red stuff. So I've got loads of red and a green. So, Nessa, what are you selling? Loads of red and a green. There's, oh, I've got some greens! Explosive trap, ethereal knives, swift assembly, support skills which throw things, volley support, support skills, spell cascade, channeling. Uh, okay, so green. Explosive trap. Support trap mine, support projectile. That's spell AoE fire. There's no AoE support. Oh, this sucks. Okay, cool. Volley, volley maybe? Volley would be green? That one just there. Volley, ethereal knives. Because volley isn't, the fireball isn't a volley attack. Red gems, strength, green, deck. Okay, cool. God, there's a color to it and everything. Get another support gem for three and link them. So a support gem for blue. So summon phantasm, raise zombie. What else should we, can I go with another summon phantasm? If you link Phantasm with Fireball, then you summon them when Fireball kills stuff. No. No. Don't you be lying to me. Raise Zombie, summon Phantasm, Fireball. Like, can we do that? Skills with the same tag work. Projectile spells work with Volley. So, Volley, Support, Projectile. Fireball. Projectile. Okay. Fires two additional projectiles. So we stick you there. We put you there. We put Fireball there. We get Phantasm Support, Ray Zombie, Spell, Minion. Do any of these 
Can I multiply the phantasm things together? If you mouse over support, you see your grip skills at the side. Oh, supportable skills. That is bloody brilliant. Elemental proliferation support supports any skill that hits enemies. 2% increased duration. So raise fire uh, zombie thingy would work with that. I love the supportable skills bit. That's very clever. That is nice. What's the blue gem in my inventory? It is surge support. You know what? We've got a surge support. Let's just stick it in there, see what happens. Why not? It could be good. It could be bad. Who knows? Um, is it worth me getting any kind of green stuff going on? Right, so if I fire the fireball now... It would just make life complicated. Oh, so you can't use fireballs and stuff while you're in a thing. Okay, cool. Let's... Uh, Let's travel back here. If I die now, it's because I'm bad. Beautiful. Ah, it doesn't even use that much mana. Oh, this is good. Okay, so we've got... This is really good. We can do that. We can make things bigger and better. Faster. First time playing this? Absolutely. Guys, I think we've just made a poggers build. Sometimes I'll just say, like, Twitch things. Like that. I don't always get them, you know. I'm I don't know where Poggers has come from, but I'm just far too afraid to ask right now. Like people look at me and go, "Oh, Josh, you, you Twitch stream? That's so Poggers." I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, it is." I'm glad that nobody ever. I do not understand Twitch culture. As someone who's heavily involved in it and literally a partner Twitch streamer, I've got no freaking clue what most of you are on about most of the time. All right, thought you should know that. Just so you know. Let's keep getting uh, zombies up and stuff. Oh, I love it. Cool. Yeah, Josh is definitely poggers. Can't even keep the bow. Right, shut up about the bow. Alright? Shut up about it. Let's just forget about it. Let's move on. Let's just... doesn't matter anymore. Look, I've got another one. Right, it's not a bow, it's a scepter. But a scepter is just a bow without a bowstring. You hate me because I'm right. The bow was Pepega. It was. The bow was Omega lol. And we are a Poggers build. That's why it doesn't work. You know? That's why it just didn't work, guys. You can't have a Poggers bow with an Omega lol build. Why are you donating? I mean, I appreciate it, thank you. But the, the chat right now does not deserve a donation. It's remarkably kind of you, though. Six pounds, thank you very much. You have 8,000 hours in it, and I still have things to learn. I'll teach you. What do you want to know? Because did you know that when you're in the shop and you buy the support gems, if you look to the top left, you'll actually see the spells that those gems support. I know, I was shocked too, but uh, that's what I'm here for. This, this stream is all about teaching. I actually didn't know that. <laughs> Someone was like, really? I told you. I told you I'm here to teach. Okay, so triple fireballs is bloody brilliant. That's my... Triple fireballs is... Poggers. There we go. I'm learning the lingo. What else is there in, in Twitch chat that makes you... What else do I need to say? What, what else are the other important things? I don't understand. He's getting it. I know that Omega lol is a thing. Pause cat. Yeah. Goated. Yeah. Goat. That means good. Good of all time. See? Check settings for quality of life stuff. Cat jam. Pog champ. Giga chad. Yes. I have heard that phrase before. I have seen... If... Look, we are all deep down giga chads. It's true. Say kappa. Hey Josh, where's the bow? The bow was not poggers enough. The bow was too kappa, it was too omega lol, it wasn't giga chat enough for us, and so the bow got yeeted. See? The bow, the lord yeeteth, and the lord yoinketh away. That is what you need to remember. And, unfortunately, Zuma Josh was the was. Imagine if this was unironic. Ah, oh, imagine. God, imagine what we would be like. 
we'd be pretty cringe, wouldn't we? But instead, I think we need to be pretty based. That's the difference. We need a yeet the bow skill. Short bow! Oh no, don't you dare. I, short bow, I'm taking you, mate. We got it. We found it, guys. We're never getting rid of it again. We got it. Josh, can I make a body pillar with you on it? I would be offended if you didn't. I'm actually quite hurt that you haven't already got one. I just killed six zombies with six fireballs. That is some serious accuracy. Just some serious accuracy. I mean, oh, we leveled up again. That was Kappa. Am I learning, Twitch chat? Am I slowly getting it right? No. Everyone's like, no. No, you're not. You're not improving at all. If anything, you're even more cringe than you were. Please. Please stop. Please try and be better. Right, okay, what are we doing? 20% increased spell damage, cast speed, and intelligence. Increased spell damage, and yes. Apply the points. I am now a good or a witch. Yeah. Got it. I'm clearly down with the kids. I'm very... I am I'm very cool. I was the cool teacher. I'm hip. I'm happening. You know? Could dance at the discotheque kind of stuff. Okay, let's just keep leveling you up. I'm just going to keep peppering this guy with fireballs. And constantly... Yeah, okay, look at this, guys. Oh, that was very poggers. Fish scale gauntlets. Got you. A better chest plate. But... Oh, I can't throw it. I genuinely need this short bow space uh, chest plate. Let's put you just there. Now let's use... Identify scroll on you. Chest plate of the newt. Requires strength. Can't use it. Padded vest. Can't use you. Alright, we killed something. Wait for rack 5. Josh used the memes. Where are the treble layer loot boxes? We're going to get there. there. You know what? Visa is going to make a clip of me saying all of those cringe things. And someone is going to think that that's genuinely how I act. I've told you secrets before. And I'll tell you a secret about teaching. Teachers are, of course, aware of meme culture. But teachers also don't want the kids to constantly be quoting memes. And the fastest way to make a classroom full of children stop quoting memes is to quote them back at them, but very slightly wrong. You know when you hear someone trying to be hip, trying to be cool, and they are, they're, they're getting it close enough that you can tell that they're trying, but just not close enough that you can tell they don't actually understand it? That's what you need to do. The best one's with Fortnite. People are like, oh, you know, I, did you get a victory royal? And they're like, it's royale. And then you say, ah, yes, we can go to Tomato Paste Town. And they're like, it's just Tomato Town. I'm like, oh, we can go to the Twisting Tower Block. And they look at you and you're like, I know that you know enough about this to make references, but you clearly don't know enough to make the references. Is this another loop? Don't make me restart the game. I will do. You know what this game reminds me of? This game reminds me of Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance, because that was also an isometric uh, action RPG. That's the whole sentence. But that's, that's all I've got to say about this. This game reminds me of a game that is similar. That's the level of analysis that you get when you come to this, uh, this, this thing. Like, when you, when you watch this Twitch stream, you might think that you don't get much. No, no, what you get is... Oh, okay. Unidentified. Let's identify you. Boom, son! Rage Wrap. Requires level 4. Strength, maximum life, cold resistance. I'm not using it for anything. 8, maximum life, lightning resistance. Sweet. I don't quite get why I'm going with heavy armor, seeing as I'm, I want instead just to be, you know, full-on DPS stuff. Level the gems on the right. Oh, yeah. You cannot level up volley support because you don't meet the requirements. Oh, don't, don't show it me then. Why would you say, hey, hey, level this up, but you can't? Okay, 
Kill all the monsters in the fetid pool. Travel to the mud flaps. We're in the fetid pool now, aren't we? I'm pretty sure right now we're in the fetid pool. Where are we? Fetid pool. Is there stuff that's still not dead? You missed some. All right. Oh, medium life flask. Pick you up. Stick the medium life flask over the small terrible life flask. Slowly improve. See? Get better as we go. Lovely stuff. If your character look at the refrigerator covered in scrap, you're doing it wrong. The feta pool. The pool of cheese. Talk to Tarklay for it's got lighter. Oh, it's daytime, okay. Right, so we have brilliant, we've sorted the fetid pool, which means we brought the sun to it, because the zombies absorb light. Physics. I learned that in school. Uh, holy F, you're playing POE. I am, actually, because playing Diablo Immortal made me want the Diablo gameplay, but obviously not the horrible microtransactions. So instead, uh, I thought, I, I want the gameplay, but I didn't want to pay for it. That's the best way to put it. Like, I want stuff, but like I want it for free. Drift. Oh, Jesus, that's so many things. This is like the scene in Jurassic Park when they all run at you. Can we pick the club up? We go. Oh, come on. We can find some places for the club. We can move you down there. Stick you there. Okay, no, maybe we... Do I need the small life flask? I'm going to throw it away. Driftwood club. <gasps> Look at me. Look at me being all smart and whatnot. I am pretty good at this. See? 22 to maximum life, maximum mana. Ma I'd rather have mana. Oh! Oh, more stuff going on. May as well get myself some... Uh, get myself some more zombies going on. Considering how many items, I'd say it's your first time playing. Okay, how dare you look at my incredible playstyle and then accuse me of being a noob. Just because I am a noob doesn't mean I like being reminded of that fact. The gla this game is just Tetris. From what I can tell, Path of Exile is an inventory management game with some action RPG kind of tagged onto the side of it. I think that seems to be an accurate description of what this game is and wants from me. And expects of me. Let's just push it through. And I think you can... A lot of the stuff is cosmetic, isn't it? The gameplay loop is just increasingly complex levels of inventory management with different coloured stuff. Designed to sell you inventory tabs. That does make sense. That does make sense. We warned you about the necessity of the loot filter. You warned me about a lot of stuff. Doesn't mean I'm going to pay attention. A lot of people have told me a lot of things in my life. They've given me a lot of warnings. Strange glyph wall. I know it's pronounced glyph, but if I say... Sometimes I do things that irritate people on purpose. Let's touch the glyph. The wall seems to require three strangely shaped objects. I've got one. I've got one glyph, but I don't have multiple. Can I put the glyph on the wall? Nope, that just throws it on the floor. Okay, cool. Um, right, where do we find them? You have two of three. Pretty sure I don't. Well, there's one. Rose of glyph. I can't see any other. Oh, Ammonite Glyph. Yep, there we go. Ammoniti, I believe it's pronounced. Uh, let's see if we can find the other glyph. It's going to be in the nest somewhere, isn't it? Because everything so far has been in the nest. So we'll find some nests. We'll do some stuff. The thing is, late game, you want a stash of loot for things later. Amanitai. He's doing really well so far. Thank you. More encouragement. That's what we need. More encouragement. More love. More reminding me that I'm doing great because I, I have the, the requirements of a child to be constantly praised. Let's just pick up some more zombies. 
Do you ever play any first-person hack or slash shooters? Yeah, I've played... Uh, I mean, first-person shooters. I've played some good ones. I've played Judge Dread, Dread vs. Death. That's a good shooter. <gasps> Halitosis Glyph. Let's get rid of the Iron Greaves. Pick up the Halitosis Glyph. Halitosis. Yeah, I can, I can read it. That's exactly what it says. This zone is on a healthitosis. Just so you know, okay, halitosis has actually got a really interesting background to it. So, halitosis was a disease made up by people to sell breath freshener. Halitosis was an old disease that was meant to say, oh, you've got smelly breath. Oh, you've got stuff between your teeth. Your breath smells. You've got halitosis. You can fix that by using this mouthwash, by using this breath freshener, by using... Look into the history of it. It's fascinating. Look in to the history of halitosis. Okay? Made up. Totally made up. Did I watch Adam Ruins Everything? I did not. Has he spoken about it as well? I mean, I'm probably not the only person in the world to know this. You know, someone else probably knew it before me. Just looking at the history, it's fantastic. No. Someone's like, no. Old Latin word meaning bad breath. Excellent. It was framed as a medical condition that required treatment and the... <laughs> okay, the lighting in this cave is gorgeous. The treatment was Listerine. Yeah, they had to work out a way to sell some Listerine. Ooh, unlocked a waypoint. Beautiful stuff. Came here for a gameplay stay for the history lesson. This is how I get you. This is how I teach people stuff. You know? You don't just tell people things, they'll leave. You lure them in. Making them expect... Okay, this is really nicely lit. I am super impressed with the lighting in this. Simple robe. I'm a simple robe kind of guy. Let's just get rid of you guys. Simple. It's got two yellows linked as well. Oh, I like how you can see what it's got linked on it too. So I'm guessing yellows are... It's only blue, red and green. I'm assuming they're green instead. I'm just going... Oh, I've leveled up. Sweet. Uh, if I drop this padded vest, pick up the simple robe. Oh, they're green. Okay, cool. So yellow is green. I see. So I've got two... Oh, so you can put even... Right, so the armour that relates to the melee fighters has more melee links on it, and the armour that relates to the mages has more mage links on it. This is quite nicely designed. I don't say that about a lot of stuff. You know? wonder how Rufus is doing. Oh, my son. He died. Just straight up died. You know? Don't worry about him. He's fine. We are getting you somewhere. It's weighted based on the stats. Yeah. F's in the chat for Rufus. Or, you know, don't. I don't. It's, it's okay if you don't care. I didn't particularly. He's my son. I just make another one. It's not a problem. I mean, I meant in video game terms, but I mean, I suppose it works both ways. But yeah, just. We'll, we'll make another Rufus. It's not a problem. It's not a problem. Was that very Moncar W? Or was that. Was that Papega? Was that Omega LOL? Or was that Poggers? You know what? We need a poll. Am I... Okay. Omega lol? Am I poggers? Am I cringe? Am I... What else is there? What else is there? I mean, there, there's Giga Chad, but I don't identify because we are all. Am I? What else is there? I mean, goated, I feel based. That's what I'm down with the kids. I've given you choices. I've given you choices, and now you have three minutes to make your votes. There we go. There is no way. You are going to be able to balance a five-vote poll. You can't do that. All right. You might be able to get like two of them balanced, but to balance just three, five things straight up, no. 
I've got to say, if you do manage to balance five things, that would be pretty based Poggers Giga Chat. That's what it would be. <laughs> Someone's like, Josh, the joke was funny at the start, but now you are just taking the piss and now it's just kind of cringy. I know. Comedy goes through cycles. You know, something will be funny and then it will be annoying and then it will be funny again. Oh, I need to go back to Lions I Watch and Tark Lay for my reward. I shouldn't be here right now. Um, what happened to the poll is 20% for everyone. Split the vote. If the poll is 20% for absolutely everything... Jesus, you're so close to doing that. Oh, God. It's a shame. Because the, the vote is a feature that streamers can use... To gather information. To learn. You ruin that. Alright? That's what you do. You ruin the feature. You, All of you. All of you do. Okay, can I... Why can't I use that? What? Oh, it's unidentified. Okay, cool. So I've got to identify the thing... Substantial medium mana flask of damping. 45% increased recovery. Oh, so you, do you get stats on the mana flasks as well? No way. So if I put this on... Does that... Do you have, like, stats on that as well? That's really impressive. Okay. Grants immunity to ignite for 8 seconds if used while ignited. Removes burning. Oh, the stats on everything. This is... Beautiful. That's pretty cool. Driftwood wand. I don't know if I need that. I'll put it just there. Okay, cool. Um, I've got to return. Is there a way to return without using a portal scroll? Ooh, I bet there is. You just need to find the... Just need to find the pad, the tra teleport, transporting thing that... <laughs> log out. No, no. No, I'm doing this the old-fashioned way. I've got to find the teleport pad. Because the transporty pad will send me back. Oh, transporty pad. That is very pog. Okay, is the... You've got a few seconds. Oh my god, based is winning by 1% in the... No. If you voted based... Now I'm impressed. 1%. Hang on, that makes it 101%. You've broken the poll system. Not only were you able to balance the polls 2020, you actually... I'm taking a screenshot of that, hang on. You actually managed to get the poll to record 101%. 101%. Based. I think you've just done something. You know how whenever people say, you know, second monitor content, it was because someone said it, and then everyone else just repeated it. I'm now going to say that this chat is 101% based. And when people are like, what are you want about? I'm like, look, I've got proof. That's what you are. If you, if you're here right now, You've just invented that. That is... You did that. You just did that. 101% based. That is a new thing that we're making it right now. You've made it, guys. You've made it. Welcome to the big leagues. You were here. You made history. We made history today. We did, we did a good thing. We did a good... Th world first. World first Twitch poll for 101%. <laughs> Who's going to put it in the Urban Dictionary? <laughs> Every stream is just slowly updating the Urban Dictionary with stuff that we've done. All right, we got some rewards. What kind? We're going to get for the rewards. Um, detonate dead. Spell AOE fire. Targets a corpse and deals spell damage to enemies around it. I don't want to blow the dead up. I like being able to keep the dead because then I can use them. Um, what do I need though? Frost bomb, orb of storms, summon raging spirit, a short-lived flaming skull that rushes at nearby enemies. 
That sounds pretty cool. That sounds Raging Spirit. We could go with Summon Raging Spirit. Do I need that if I'm also going to be summoning Phantasms? Spirit's really good, people are saying. 20 Summoned Raging Spirits. Okay, minions cannot taunt enemies. 20 Spirits sounds pretty good, to be fair. Let's go with that. Select one. Learn about which support gems work well with this skill. Frost blink. Oh, you can jump through something. Cool. All right. Nice. Support gem examples, bone chill, area of effect, support. So I also get frost blink. Cool. And I can put frost blink onto stuff. Select one. Book of regrets. Grants two passive respec points. Nice. Oh, I, I can't take that yet because it's it's too big. You know, I'll just I'll throw the fish scale gauntlets away. I'll, I'll choose later. Let me sell some stuff. Sell some things to you. Frost Blink's meant to be good. You, chat, are 101% giga chat. That's what you are. Is it true you think... I see. Transformers is one of the best MMO currently. Yeah, it's amazing. I think it's it's one of the greatest games. It's probably the only game you should ever play. All right, so let's just sell some stuff. Is it worth identifying things before you sell them? Because if I just drag stuff to there, I get five transmutation shards. But if I don't put them there, is it worth identifying things? Yes and no, yes it is. Scroll of Wisdom, Identify... Onslaught clutches fish scale gauntlets. One to two physical damage to attacks. Oh yeah, that was way better. Okay, that's uh, stack of twenty shards becomes an orb of alteration, orb of alchemy. Should I be selling these to him or should I be selling these to the girl? Don't think I need a simple robe. I'm just going to sell everything to this dude apart from the bow. No one's selling the bow. Medium mana flask is not needed, neither is the simple life flask. Coral ring, I've already got one of. Uh, driftwood wand, I already have got two better ones. I don't use a glass shank. Driftwood club, may as well identify you first. So I can stick it in there. Blacksmith's whetstone improves the quality of a weapon. Stack size 1 out of 20. Okay. I'm starting to get it, guys. Let's sell all of that. And then let's accept Necromancer Reward. Alright. Do I need to use that now? Grants two passive respect points. If I use that, do I need to use the respect points immediately? Or should I just put that in the... No. Hold control and click the item. Okay. I, I hold control. You can say it, you can bank them. I'll just put it in the stash for now. We'll come back to the stash later. You can't stash this. This cannot be stashed. You pretty much have to use it. Alright, cool. So I've got some stuff. I've used it. I've got it. Hoard the points. Not a problem. You know what is going in the stash? Page four. Right there. It's the only thing it's allowed to be. Please always show sockets. Makes it hard to watch. How do I turn on always show sockets? Is it in the options somewhere? You played that, but thank you. Options and then UI. Uh, options. UI. Okay. Right, what do I need? What do I need on? Always show sockets. Yes. Save. And beautiful. Much nicer. Much easier. Much better. Cool. Um, oh, and now you can see what space you've got in here. Oh, I've got some blue space just there, which is Frost Blink. So if I put you there, I get the Frost Blink on Q. Can't use it right now, but I get the idea. Right, I am definitely going to remap QWERT, possibly to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then remap these to the Q keys. and I'll make it work. I'll do some stuff to it. Okay, I will do some... Diablo Immortal looking kind of different. It's much cheaper. 
That's the best way to do it. There's no reason that you, you Q and W. Yeah, Q W A S D E. Just a lot of stuff going on here. Travel to the flooded depths, travel to prisoner's gate. I'm looking and I'm feeling pretty happy. Okay, so that's blue and green linked. 7%. That's blue and green linked, but it's a scepter, not a wand. Some Ah, oh, Raging Spirit. I'm going to take the Arcane Surge support away, replace it with Raging Spirit, and that's going to be on W, because I think the Raging Spirit support is going to be more important than the Surge. Serb, thank you very much. Oh, Kilbu, thank you very much for the subs. That's remarkably kind of you. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you are having a lovely day. Just want to say thank you for getting me into Fallen Earth. You're a smelly Mad Max wannabe. As long as you are enjoying Fallen Earth, I was genuinely impressed with how it was. Need to set aside some time to watch the Diablo Immortal video. Raging Spirit is not support. No, it's it's um, W, isn't it? It's just attack with stuff. Unless... I don't have any blue stuff. I suppose I could take Frost Blink away and instead have Raging Spirit there. Potentially. I don't know. It, it doesn't matter right now. We're not going to be perfect. I'm not going to worry about being perfect. Ooh, I have got the submerged passage thing unlocked. Why do I still have travel to Prisoner's Gate, travel to Flooded Depths? This place is bloody huge, isn't it? Okay, so I need to go to... Ah, right. Oh, okay, cool. Quests show you... So that's what you've done, that's what you've got to do. I like this. Let's go to the submerged passage. Then let's go that way. You know what I mean. I mean, I'm, I'm pointing... You know what I mean. Okay, so that just summons skulls who do things. Let's find some enemies and see what happens. Let's just... If I... Oh, does everything stay dead? I didn't realise that everything stays dead. I thought maybe it all came back. Okay, so I can just summon an absolute boatload of skulls. Which just go and attack literally everything. And then I can use fireball. And then summon even more skulls. What? Is this... Am I doing that correctly? Monsters will reset if you... Um... Control click the entrance. Fireball is now redundant because we've now got flaming skull. Just got full on. Fireball does way more damage, but flaming skulls obviously home. So you can just prepare flaming skulls before you go into a room, get the enemies, and then just have the flaming skulls run at them. Like, if I summon this. Okay. Okay, I'm getting it. Spam one attack and it's almost endgame, so yes. Yeah. Just hold W. W for win. That's my new button. W is the win button. Occasionally summon a zombie. Carry the skulls. This is a step down from the Barbie game. Look, every game is a step down from the Barbie game, but you can't have perfection all the time. Is this game worth playing if you don't want to pay? Well, apparently it's only got cosmetics. Like, uh, does it have pay to win? Let me let me know if it does or doesn't. Does it have pay to win? Can you buy power? I suppose you've got stash tabs because you can just buy extra stuff. Right, so you can buy inventory tabs and you can buy bank tabs and you can buy stash tabs, but... So you can buy, like, mechanical advantages where you... Oh, hang on. Nope. So you can buy mechanical advantages, but you can't necessarily buy just straight-up powerful stuff. Stash tabs are mandatory late game. Okay, cool, gotcha. After you finish the axe, you probably want the tabs. Okay, cool. So, you know what? It, someone said in the chat, after a hundred or so hours, you're going to want this. After a hundred or so hours of playing a game, give it some money. That seems fair. If you've played a game for a hundred hours or so, and now it's like, 
hey, if you want to carry on playing the rest of this efficiently, you might want to drop a couple of quid. That, to me, seems like a fair amount of enjoyment to have got out of a game. And seeing as it's not like a... a rip, is it a monthly purchase? Or is it once you've bought it, you've got it forever, enjoy it? Because if it's a case of you've got it, enjoy it, yeah, I can get on with that. It's forever. One-time payment forever. How much money do you think you'd need to invest in Path of Exile? And again, I'm asking you guys because you have experience with this. How much money would you invest to have enough stash tabs to be comfortable at end game? So people are saying between 30 to 100. 30 to 100 bucks, 30 to 100 dollars. So, so an investment of 30 quid, let's say, you know, maybe 40 quid, something like that. An investment of forty pounds, which is probably closer to fifty dollars, is going to get you, is going to put you in a position to play comfortably forever. Is that kind of stuff? Because if if thirty to fifty pounds is going to put you in a position to play comfortably forever, I'd say that sounds really fair. Because you know what I what I use whenever I what is this? Broodling, whispering essence of contempt. Let's free you. I'm sure that's that nothing can go wrong with that. Oh, something went wrong with it, guys. Let's just summon some more zombies. Sweet, that's fine. Whispering essence of contempt. What what are you? I picked you up. Was it a thing I can pick up? Upgrades a normal item to rare with one guaranteed property. Property is restricted to 35 and below. Nice! So it upgrades something to guaranteed rare. That's pretty cool. So the way that I judge the cash shop in most MMOs or what I'm buying for is I use Guild Wars 2 as my baseline. Because I spent probably 80 quid on Guild Wars 2 about, what, 8 years ago? However long ago it was that it came out. And you can just... I still play it. I can log in. Doesn't matter if I lose a bit of time. To me, 2012. Freaking 10 years ago, man. 10 years ago. I get Guild Wars 2 by money 10 years ago. And I can still just log in and lose nothing and play. That, to me, is bloody good value for money. I really like that. I think Guild Wars 2 is an excellent value for money game. Same with Elder Scrolls Online. It's been 10 years. I know that you don't like the idea that it's been 10 years since Guild Wars 2 came out. Spawn more zombies. Oh, thank you. It's almost a shame that I could only have three. I wish I could have more than three. Is there a way to extend the life of these skulls? Because as it stands, these skulls last for like five seconds. Yes. Like, is Minion Mancer a build? Is that a thing I'm going to be able... Oh, skill duration. Skill duration gems are going to be able to give me... Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm seeing this. I'm seeing this. Because those of you who were here when I played Guild Wars 1 for a bit, you guys know how much I love me some minion dancers. Alright? Big fan of minions. Skelly mages for the win. I want to be running around with an army. I want to be lagging the screen that I've got so many minions. That's what I want. I want anyone who teams up with me to just be absolutely put off by the sheer amount of minions we are spawning. That's what I want. I want people team... Oh, by the way, guys, if you play this, we're, we're teaming up together. We're teaming up. I don't know if it's cross-server play. Is it cross-server play, or do you have to be on the same server? Can you move servers for, for free and stuff? Um... Vile summons guys. One server, cross server, what's it? One server. Sweet. So, hang on. Let me get this right because I, I want to make sure I'm getting this correct. If you play Path of Exile, you can play with other people who play Path of Exile. Is that pretty much how it works? Like, if someone says to you, hey, I thank. Oh, finally! You know what's always confused me? I started off playing RuneScape when I was younger. And on RuneScape, you can pretty much move servers, move worlds, for free whenever you want, super easily. So when a friend of mine said, hey, come and play World of Warcraft with us, make sure you're on the correct world, I thought, why? Why do I have to make sure I'm on the correct world? Surely I can just jump to your world at any given time. When he explained to me that you can't do that, I was just, I was blown away. 
I was like, what on earth do you mean? You can't just play with your friends. The greatest strength of the MMO is that you can play with your friends. If you suddenly start locking that very system behind server restrictions, removing a massive potential of stuff. Yeah. Am I playing standard or hardcore? Standard. I am a hardcore casual. Put it that way. Uh, which league is he on? It needs to be on the same league. I'm just on standard. Uh, Pathfinder is more more co-op than MMO. Yeah, I'll take co-op. Like if we can get a, a party of you know four or five of us going to do something, that'd be cool. More than happy. I will listen to the writing at some point, by the way, but probably off stream, just because me sitting here in silence for like five minutes listening to the the voice acting as good as it is. Wait, standard, not Sentinel. No, just standard. Not on leagues, just doing standard stuff. If I like it, I'll redo and do leagues again, you never know. Please play the league, no one listened to the writing. So what's the main difference between league and thingy? Standard is good for a first time player, leagues have crazy stuff that can put stuff off. I will play leagues eventually, but I want to start off on standard. I like... So, someone told me that leagues eventually end. And that's kind of the whole point of them. You start, you play for a bit, they end, you go somewhere else, you start a new league. I like content that endures. One of my favourite things about the MMO kind of genre, or the online gaming genre, is being able to build a character that lasts. So I will definitely play the leagues, but I want to learn in standard first. The reason for this is, if I play the leagues right now, I won't know what's new. I won't be able to be like, oh, that's a league mechanic. I want to be able to build my build my base skills in standard, then I will push over to the end. League characters become standard characters at the end. Oh. When a new league starts, do you need to start a new character for that league? So is it like a league happens, it exists for a couple of months, everyone starts again, but the character that you've made becomes a standard character and you can go back and carry on playing with it if you want to. Oh, that's actually really clever. I like that. I was scared that it would just get deleted and you'd like lose your progress, but this seems like a really nice way to not lose progress but to still encourage people uh, starting a new character, trying new classes, replayability, stuff like that. Okay. You know what? So far, I have not found that many design decisions that I don't like. This is rare. This is rare. I mean, don't don't quote me too early on it, but I might end up playing this quite a lot. I f oh! Okay. I actually don't mind dying here. I don't mind dying there. And I'll tell you why. I'm smiling now, genuinely, okay? There was a hell of a lot of AoE going on. There was... There was a load of electric damage. There was AoE bloody everywhere. So let's get the skeletons back up. Let's get back out. Press Q. Oh, sweet! I've got my little thing, haven't I? Thank you. This is good! This is good. Okay, it's been a while since I've had like a proper grin come across my face. Let's get these fireballs going on. Let's get these skulls happening. Let's dodge out the way. Okay. Let's see what we can do to get rid of these things. And if we get attacked this time, we can dodge. Ooh. Okay, can I destroy the thing that's making... The electric. I probably can. I'm going to send all my minions at it. Send all the skulls at it instead. I can. I can hang back here. And I can just throw in damage. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm s oh that is beautiful. That little AoE just there. I don't need a chain belt, but I'm going to take one. I don't need any of that. But I'm happy that I got... I like how the chest opens in two little flat bits. That's quite nice. That was a zone boss, by the way. Jeez, man. Frickin' cheese. Gonna full-on Gouda this baby. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna Stilton all the way through this. You can zoom in and out on your mini-map. Oh, hang on. Let me just... Uh, uh, I've gotta uh, cancel this. There we go. He's being attacked by things. 
Let me deal with the enemies first. Then we'll jump into the uh, jump into the level up passive menu. Give me a sec. Go to settings, select filter to filter out normal items. I'm not going to change any filters yet, but I will do at some point. You have no idea what you're getting into. Okay. Okay. Come expect a video on Path of Exile. Oh, this is going to be the problem. Like, if I enjoy Path of Exile too much, I'm not going to have time to make a video on it. People are going to say, Josh, you've been playing Path of Exile a lot. Are you going to make a video? No. Because when I sit down to edit the video, I'm going to think, this is a bit shit. Might as well play some more Path of Exile. That's the problem. I'm not going to want to edit when I could just play more. All right, so we've, we've gone up to the Arcanist's Dominion. What have we got over here? Manor and life. <laughs> life. Avoid interruption while casting and elemental resistances. Okay. Elemental damage. Intelligence. Spell critical strike chance. How does what? Lord of the Dead. Plus one to maximum number of raised zombies, maximum number of raised skeletons. Why would you go anywhere else? What? What? Critical strike. And then do we want increased critical strike chance for spells? Oh, it's just all the same. 20% increased chance, 25, but that also gets you there. Let's go to Lord of the Dead starting off with. People are like, no, 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 no. Is that bad? Do you not want crit? But how? Okay, so do we want that? <gasps> Minions deal more damage. Okay. I didn't see the minions deal more damage. Minions have increased life. Lord of the Dead. Apply points. It's happening. So is critical strike a trap? Is crit bad? If you're confused about what affects what, gems have tags that they don't... Okay, gotcha. At the top you have a search field. Search here. Minions. If I search for minion and then everything that has minion just... It flashes. Minion instability. Minions explode on low life. Minion defense. Minion offense. Plus one to... Oh, mi a minimum power charges. In. Minion offense mastery. Minion damage, minion damage. Min There's so many. There's so many. I love it. I mean, down here, not as much, because that's more like the melee stuff. But over here, oh, good times. Okay, the spell spell and attack and minion does mean something different. Right, minions have to all maximum elemental resistances. Do I know about ascendancy? Not at all. Not at all. It's been fun making YouTube videos. But Diablo Immortal is the best thing to ever happen to Path of Exile. That's just four zombies. Here we go. It really is. Diablo Immortal is just the absolute greatest thing to happen to Path of Exile. Go. It's happened twice now. Didn't it? Diablo 3. <laughs> Isn't it weird that Blizzard went, Diablo 3! And Path of Exile was just calmly sitting there, watching its player base increase. And then Blizzard went, Diablo Immortal! And again, Path of Exile was like, I will accept you. It's okay. You, you're, you're welcome here. You're safe here. You're safe. Every class has three subclasses that further specialise. Yes, Diablo 3 was followed by Diablo not free. I like it. Oh, brilliant. Questionable choices. If you could... You know what would be great if you could buy all the skills at once with real money? What would be good is if you had a battle pass system, but only per character. And then if you had a prodigy's path system that you unlocked when you got to level 20, which made you better. If this was friggin' immortal, every skeleton would cost me money to keep alive. That's what it would be. Every frickin' skeleton. Travel to Flooded Depths, travel to Prisoner's Gate. So, like, what? where am I going? I should be back there. I've gone the wrong way. 
I'm going this way when I should be going that way. I see what's happened. Okay. I feel that I've made a mistake downloading this game. I make mistakes occasionally. It does happen. Uh, keep going until the next teleport. Oh yeah, I suppose we can just grab the next teleport and the climb, can't we? Find the next waypoint. I feel that I have made a mistake. People are like, I never make mistakes. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm human. I make mistakes. You can teleport back. Surely you need to unlock the teleporter here to be able to teleport back there. Let's just grab this. Okay, so endless skulls. This is going to be quite good. Where is the teleporter for this one? I see TY has joined us, and a lot of people have said hello. TY, how are you today? You can use portal scrolls. I don't think I have any. I do not think... I've got scrolls of wisdom, because I am very wisdomous. But I do not have any portal scrolls. Um, how painful is this to watch? How painful is this? I mean, I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. I think I'm doing fine. I mean, if I was playing like this, it might be painful to watch, with the map on zoomed in. This might... Ir Bone wheels?! We Dark Souls now, boys! Okay. Bloody bone wheels going on. My eyes, you're doing great. People are, like, supporting in general. I know that you're unhappy. I know... First time Path of Exile. How can you tell? How can you tell? Oh, we've got four skeletons. We've got a load of flaming skulls. Where is the teleporter? Is the teleporter normally in an easy-to-reach place in every level? Is that what happens? So, T.Y., are you a Path of Exile guy? I'm going to assume you are, because everyone's just been amazed that you're here to support. Right. So, Ty, can I come to you with questions and stuff? If I have questions, can I ask you? And you, you're probably going to know the answers. And I want to make sure that's obviously a fair trade. If you have questions, you can ask me as well. Now, the answers might not be as accurate as yours. Might not make any sense at all. Might be straight up wrong. But you know what? I'll answer. I'm here. I'm here for you. He is definitely one of the people. <laughs> of all of the players, he is definitely one of them. You still... Oh, no, I haven't fixed the game window offset. Oh, yeah, if you were here since the start... I occasionally do things on stream just to irritate people very slightly. And what I did was I moved the I moved the game window just very slightly up. Which is why there's a black line on the bottom. I'll fix that. You guys deserve this. I'll fix that. There we go. That's fixed now. See? Don't don't say I never do anything for you. Oh, you can find out where the freaking teleporter is because it appears on the map with a freaking arrow pointing to it. That's brilliant. Oh, no. I am really not liking the amount of times I've said that's brilliant when I've noticed a bit of design. Oh, I was planning on doing work tomorrow. I was, I was really planning on being productive over the next week. Oh, 101% based you are. All of you. Right, we're going to teleport back to Lion's Eye Watch. And I'm going to stop selling some stuff. You did this on purpose. You on me. I did nothing of the sort. How dare you? How dare you accuse... I did. I did. Oh my goodness! Ilandra, thank you very much for all the gifted subs. That is remarkably kind of you. I'm glad you're enjoying the uh, the stream. I'm very much enjoying the game. Probably a little bit too much. I genuinely was planning on doing work tomorrow. Because from Meep Meep, want some portal scrolls? Not at the minute. I have a bit of a thing with accepting free stuff from streaming. Uh, and I'll be honest with all you guys. I know that a lot of people who watch streamers like to give them free stuff. I want to earn as much as I can in-game first before taking anyone's generosity. And when people say, you know, oh, you're streaming, here's something powerful, here's some good armor or a good weapon or a good, you know, whatever, I won't appreciate what it is that people give me until I've played the game for a little bit longer. 
if someone goes, you know, here's the best sword in the game, I'll be like, thanks. I don't have any connection to this. I don't know what this means. I don't know where this comes from. I don't know the history of this. It doesn't mean anything to me until I've tried to get it myself. It has no value, no intrinsic value to me, whether it's to do with lore in the game or drop rates or that kind of stuff. So let me let me get into the game. Let me play it. Let me try. Let me fail. And then if I really need something and there's no other way to get it, then we'll look into that. But until then... Let's just... Uh, hey, Josh, want a mirror of uh, Calandra? Yeah, yeah, just send it over. Why not? Just send it over. I'll drop it. Um, I don't know what that is, so... Just just, just send it over. I'll put it on the floor. Somebody else can have it. Don't send it over. I don't know what it is. <laughs> like, I don't know what it does. Uh, mirror is the most expensive item in the game. Brilliant. Play my favourite game. I hope you like it. Ah, you're going to be in luck. You're going to be in luck with that. I'd love to see you delete a mirror. It means nothing to me right now. Do you want a scythe on old school RuneScape? No, that's that's not even in the game. Don't don't tell me things that aren't in the game. Scythes. It's not a real item. Okay, sell some items. Ah, oh, 17 to max on energy. 11 to max on energy. Let's just switch you out. Can I? Can I not? Oh, can you not unequip stuff? Can you not change things around while you're on the cell screen? <gasps> Ooh, something I've discovered that I don't like. You can't change things around while you're doing gear stuff. Cell items. All right. Um, I probably don't need this chain belt or this or whatever this is. Half plate vest of the cloud. That's... <laughs> That sounds like the kind of thing that people that get hit need. And I'm not I'm not about that life. I'm not about that get hit life. Settle you. I mean look, this is the start. I'm gonna be redoing this. I'm gonna be getting new equipment pretty much immediately, aren't I? Sell all that stuff. That's fine. I don't need about any of that. Uh control plus left click instead of dragging. Nope. Nope, dragging every time. Every single time. He has no idea about the selling spreadsheet. I don't. I really don't. I absolutely don't. And I probably won't. Fueled by blood of the mages. Hi, stream. Blood of the mages. Everyone says hi to you as well. I'm just going in blind. Going in straight blind, man. That's pretty cool. Oh, you've got like badass little wings going on and everything. That's cool. That's really cool. Now, if this were Diablo Immortal, that would have cost you several thousand pounds. I'm going to guess it doesn't cost quite that much. Here. Uh, you're going to have a really bad time if you don't invest in defense. Who needs defense if the enemy's dead? Who needs defense? That costs about 100 to 200 dollars. That's fine. If you've played it for th if you've played the game for thousands of hours, that seems fine, to be fair. Oh, he's a softcore player. Yeah, absolutely. I'm a hardcore casual, man. Hardcore. This game is pay to cool. It's pay to lose. Right. I'm, ha I'm fine with pay to lose games. People are like, do you mean pay to win? I'm like, nope. I'm going to look badass and die. I'm going to pay money and lose. Yet you don't need defense if everything's dead. If if I actually have to care about how much defense I've got, what that means is the enemy are still alive. And that, up with that, I will not put. Right, we're going to get to there, which means going to here and then going that way. You know what I mean. Right, I'm going to go with the minion master kind of thing going on. That's, uh, oh, the enemy seems to be alive still. I don't like any of the enemy. Why are the enemy alive? Let's just change that. I don't have anywhere near enough flaming skulls. It's just... God, remember, remember a couple of hours ago when I was like an absolute peasant attacking enemies myself? God. Oh, I imagine not having a horde of zombies around you. Did I ever play Battle Tanks on the N64? Yeah, I did. That was great. Cringe, the burn side. 
Are you cringing? Mate, we, all, we did a poll, okay? We established this chat and everyone in it is 101% based. That's what they are. Visa, were you here for that? Because that needs to become a clip. The 101% based definitely needs to become a clip. You are doing great. Thank you. Oh, mate, Visa. Okay, here, I'll send you the screenshot. Here's what happened. I don't quite understand Twitch culture. I don't understand what is Papega. I don't understand what's Omega LOL and what's Poggers. So, I put a, a, a poll out and I said, what am I? Am I Poggers? Am I Omega LOL? Am I Giga Chat? Am I cringe? Or am I based? And chat managed to vote 20% in everything. A five choice poll and chat got it 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Apart from based, which somehow they got to 21%. Which means somehow this chat managed to get a 101% poll with based winning. And Eternal, thank you very much for the tip. That is remarkably kind of you. Here's some money to make up for the fact that you're on my second monitor, but at least I'm not on the third monitor. I will work every day as hard as I can to make sure I am deserving of your second monitor. That's my plan. Make a freaking emote out of it. You know what? We'll do it. I'm going to make a 101% based emote. I'm going to get it on by next stream. It's going to be there. You deserve it. You've made it happen. Are you sure it wasn't like 19.5? I'm sure there was like a 0.5 somewhere. But it was the fact that you guys managed to do it that was super bloody impressive. It was just insane that you managed to do it. So Visa. Visa, by the way, runs the clip channel, for those of you who are unaware. Uh, ex extremely talented editor. Lovely guy. Um, he asked me a few days ago if he can have a vacation. And um, obviously not. No. No, he can't. That's not allowed. Um, someone... I mean, Visa even said to me, you know, Josh, can I, can I please stop making these clips now? Can I please have my free time back? My family miss me. And he said, Josh, can I just make like 30 clips in one go and then set them on YouTube to... Oh, Squad Wisdom under a boulder. And set them on YouTube to just slowly appear one after the other so I don't need to be here. And I said, no, Visa, no. That's not what it's about. What this should be about is... It should be... It's about the artisanal quality. You should create one, then you should you know, put it up, and then wait till tomorrow, make another one. Wait till tomorrow, make another one. You don't get to mass-produce clips, because that loses the personal touch. The only thing Visa will get is the lash, if he's lucky. If he finishes the clips and asks nicely, potentially. Send Visa a Get Well card, and send him anything. He's not deserving of that. He'll find a way to use the cardboard to make a key and escape, and I spent a lot of money on that cage. All right. Right, let's just keep uh, throwing flaming skulls at the problem until uh, until the problem goes away. How often do I change his water? He has access to a dripping pipe. That's what he has access to. Now that is Monka S. Oh. How long does it take to find... <laughs> You're not on my second monitor, I have two primary monitors. So you're on the second primary monitor. Other than that, have a dollar. Thank you. I appreciate that. Making him restart will probably make him quit. Hey, if I need to restart, I can restart, but I'm not going to restart yet. I'm going to keep playing this until I realise, hey, I'm just going to restart and do something better. Where the frick is the second exit? Let's just get another zombie up. Keep going down here. It's got to be over here somewhere. It's pointing that way, so it's probably this one that it's pointing to. Oh, we've got this. Wait, do you know what Better TTV is? I've heard of it. Look, a lot of people have told me a lot of ways to improve the Twitch stream, and all of them are objectively correct. And the reason I haven't done them, and this is very important you understand, is that I'm just really lazy. That's what it is. People have said to me, Josh, you know, Twitch is... 
Twitch is your income. It's your job. It's your life. You, you should be putting effort into it. Look, I haven't even balanced the green screen on the left of the camera. Look. At, uh, look, see? Just, just there. Look, little slither of green screen. I could, I could crop that off right now. I'm not going to. But I could. Alright, TY says go back to the bridge. Alright, back to the bridge. That's why we have a connection. Why did you point it out? I mean, I could make it worse. Hang on. There we go. All uh, right, go back to the bridge. I didn't notice that until you made it there on purpose. Um, that's all I see. Hey, this is what you said. Right, um, Ty, you had some some advice. Do you prefer Ty or Killer? Go back before the bridge. Okay, the bridge is over here. Just let me... Let me summon some skulls in case I get attacked. Get this man cancelled. You can try. Others have tried. Uh, why not turn off the green screen completely? Because what I like doing every now and again is just ripping apart reality. Just occasionally. Just being like... Look, see? There's stuff back there. Stuff and things. Just realised my cat's asleep on the floor. Just curled up in the corner asleep. Right, okay, cool. What are we doing? Um, going back to before the thing. Nothing triggers me worse than that passive skill point. Right, back before the bridge. You said there was a bridge you wanted me to get to. Um, the bridge. Go back and get the chest. Where is the the chest? Go back to town and take the waypoint instead. It's much closer. Oh, you... Oh, before the bridge. This bit over here, you see? Gotcha. When you say bridge, you mean this bit over here. Oh, is there a chest I missed or something? Tab. Yeah, I'm tabbing it. See, I'm pressing tab. Press tab. Yep. Tab's open. Tab's good. Tab, please. The chest was to the right. Up here? Nope. The little reality void in the... Co oh, where are we... Where are we going for this? No chest. Going over here. We're not seeing it. Guys forgot about the chest. More right. Over there, maybe. Oh, okay. Hang on. Hang on. Even more to the right. Oh, hang on. Loads of enemies to start off with. We just summon an absolute crap ton of skulls. Corroded blade. Sweet. What's over? Is it up here? Is it around here? Is it down that bit? Maybe the real chest was the friends we made along the way. Chest is bad advice. They're probably baiting you. No, no, no. Because like I said, they are amateur baiters. And I am the master. So... Let's just send all these flaming skulls toward an enemy, see what's happening. Is left really right? You guys said it might be down here. Nope, not in this way. I'm going to find this chest. What is this chest? Where is it? Is it in here? No. Is it this way? Just explore. I was, I was so ready to carry on playing, and you guys are like, Nah, you've got to get the chest. Man, you're missing it. You're ruining the game for yourself. Zoom in. Was like the real chest. Genuinely. It's a chest. Why? There is no cake. There is no chest. I'm going to explore this entire bloody map. The flooded depths. I need to go there. Oh, maybe that's what you were trying to make me do. Maybe you were trying to get me to the entrance, the flooded depths, so I can go down there. Right. 
Was this what you needed? This is the chest. Gotcha. This is the real chest. The real treasure was friendship. I got it. This is going to be your future competition. No, he will beat me without even much of a fight. This is not what we needed, but it's what we wanted. Where? You guys run about the chest. Going this way? I'm being followed. All these zombies are coming with me. They're all my friends. They're my only friends right now. I could spend that passive skill point, but I'm not going to. I will spend that passive skill point when we find whatever this bloody chest is that you guys are on about. Mine is losing more. Have you bought the $480 supporter pack yet? No, no, I spent it all on Legendary Christ and Diablo Immortal. Um, so that was a good choice. I'm just waiting for, waiting for the next YouTube paycheck to come in. The chest is an illusion. Perfect timing for a new player. The weekend is uh, sale for stash tabs. Cool. Uh, the chest is in the other cave. There is no chest. Right, we're going to go back to the other cave. We're going to find... I don't even care if there's no chest anymore. I'm going to scour the other cave. If I can't find it, then you are all going to feel very silly for wasting my time. Right, the submerged passage. The chest is in the other castle. The chest does not even... <laughs> Imagine not even having plus 800% value. Okay, so this is the map. I'm pretty sure we've explored all of this area now. The whole area, apart from that bit all the way back there. Are you on about, like, the bit all the way back at the start? Because that's ages away. The orange entrance. Go east. Right. Of oh, that bit just there. That bit? Is that a, that a bit? Hang on, we'll go this way. East over the bridge. Okay, we're going east over the bridge. I'm with you guys. I'm with you. East is this way. We're over the bridge. Now where do we go? Now where do we go? Do we go this way? Do we go this way? Okay, over the bridge again. Over the bridge again? Oh, you've got to go back and over. I see. Orange entrance on your map on the left side. I mean, that bit just there? Is it that bit just there? I just joined. What's the secret of my legendary crests? Find the chest. Find the chest. And you will never need to buy legendary crests again. Only listen to me or Tyler. Vibo, okay, I'm listening to you. What are you saying? Help me out. Is there no if there's no chest, I will leave immediately. I'm listening. I'm looking for you. I'm looking for your chat. I'm looking for TY. Head over the bridge. There's a quest to do. At the Submerge Passage, there is a quest boss that you can kill. It's between where you are now and the entrance to the east. Ah, okay. He only listens to it southwest. You know, I'm thinking that a few of you might be having a joke with me having a bit of a a jape a bit of a lark I don't even know if this is Path of Exile anymore any speedrunning players watching is going crazy are they I still I don't know you know what you know what? You've lost guidance privileges. I'm not going to listen to any of you anymore. You have lost guidance privileges. You don't get to tell me what to do anymore. You've ruined Christmas. That's what you've done. Oh no, he's going to lose the chest. 
That's true, I might. We should go back and check. What's going to happen is this. Let me explain what's going to happen. Some of you are going to joke that there's a chest that doesn't exist. And I'm going to look for it. And I'm not going to find it. Because it doesn't exist. And you're going to find that quite funny. That I'm looking for something that doesn't exist. And then you're going to realise that I value my time very low. So I'm going to keep looking for this chest. And eventually you're going to be like, Josh, it was a joke, it's not there. It's literally not there. But I'm going to keep looking for it. And then you're going to feel worse for making me look for it. Because I'm going to keep looking for it. And I'm not going to leave this map until we find a chest. So you know what? If you guys want the rest of the stream, you best hope there's a chest. Because don't mud wrestle a pig. Because the pig will just get covered in mud and he likes it. I'm the pig in this uh, scenario here. I'm going to keep going. The chest is in Diablo Immortal. That's some determination I give you for sticking to your guns. We're going to find it. What's this way? <gasps> Guys. We found it. That's a trunk. That's not a chest. Oh. We were close, though. Portal scroll, sweet. That's that's actually quite useful. Um, what's over here? Oh, we've not been this way yet. That's dead end. Walked right past the chest. We're gonna keep going, guys. <gasps> what's over here? This is new. We've not been to this area at all. The mud flats. We've been there before. Look, Mister Legendary Wand. I don't think I did. But you've made me paranoid that I may have done. Right off bridge, bottom passage, there is a chest. Okay. You know what? One more chance, one more look for the chest. And then if we don't find it, we're going to open the trunk. Alright? Because I think the trunk is the chest. I can't watch. He turned Path of Exile into an open world game. We're going to go down here, across the bridge, look for the chest, and if we can't find the chest, then we will go and open the trunk. Because I believe the trunk is the chest. Not this way. We're circumnavigating. We're going to have a look. It's not this way, it's not that way. No branch, it's not you. It's not here, guys. Josh, read the text on the screen. Dweller of the Deep. Optional. <laughs> Holy shit. I don't even want it anymore. Right, let's carry on. Go to the next bit. The ledge. Right, what are we doing outside on the ledge? <laughs> I, <laughs> nothing in it is going to live up to expectations. All right? No, no matter what we open, it's not going to be good enough. The only way that we're ever going to get any level of enjoyment from this is just imagining that it could be something good. Okay? It could be something good. We're not opening it. We're not doing it. There's a side quest in the flooded depths. It was the WoW token. It was, at, it was purpose. It was friendship. It was a legendary crest. That's what it was. That's exactly what you deserve. Ah, oh. exactly what you deserve. 
friend request from I Topped Your Dad. Actually, I'm glad you got in contact with me because he has wanted me to contact you again. Because, you know, you, you didn't call. You didn't text. Chest? No, we're not opening it. You don't deserve chests anymore. Everyone in chat, you don't get any more chests. I'm going to open them all off stream. That's what I'm going to do. All the opening is happening off stream. You don't get to see any more of that. That was me. I forgot that was my character name. Well, I mean, I'm going to have to pass the message on. Because you can't just be ghosting people like that, you know? It's not allowed. My VTuber is online. See you, Josh. See you next time. You have a good day. We don't have the legendary crest for the chest. Most of the side quests towards skill points. You missed the chest. Fine. I'll go and open the chest, shall I? I missed a chest plate. You know what? I'm going to open this chest. But I'm not going to loot it. I don't even want the armor scrap anymore. Shut up. You can't tell me what to do. You're not ahead of me. You don't rule the stream. You're not the god of me. Not even worth it. 101% base. That's what we need to be. <laughs> I am in pain. <laughs> oh. Apologise to Josh. What's happening? Is this a seasonal character? No. Oh, look, a chest. No. No, you don't deserve chest anymore. I'm going to throw endless waves of flaming... What was in the chest? <gasps> no. Don't need those things. You know what? Fine. I've been streaming for 2 hours and 55 minutes. At 3 hours, I have to head off anyway. Let's go all the way back and open the chest. Let's do it. This is what you want. This is what you want. Alright? We're going to go all the way back to the chest that I spent, what, 15 minutes running around to try and find? We're going to see what is in this freaking chest. Where was it? Oh, for God's sake. Genuinely, where was it? It was over here somewhere, wasn't it? Was it? I, I'm not taking the piss now. I genuinely can't remember where it was. Um, hang on. Was it, it was there, wasn't it? No. There it is. Okay, cool. We've got it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me. It's been fun. I will uh, see you guys on... What day is it today? It's Saturday. I'll see you on Monday for the Tangent Tavern with Callum. And Wednesday for the D&D &D stream with Callum, Billy and Rage. I had a really good time playing Path of Exile. I might need to play it on stream some more. Thank you very much for joining. You guys have a good night. Take care. Good night. God bless.